Looks like we're going right into it. We got ourselves a Lily versus Jin happening here as we begin here. Just like uh, going into, we'll get some names on here. It looks like a Yu Yui versus Xiao Long happening on here, but just going to go right into it. Let's do one, four, yeah. Oh, already knows that one. Ducks right under the second hit of that screen. Gets a really good realignment. This is some combo exhibition we got going on here, Risky. Right. Yeah, already going in with like a little bit of that down, that down two from Jin. That's always uh, it's a little bit slow on there, but he does some perfect damage. Meanwhile, Yui coming back, uh, getting a little bit of like, like just in that range here, Tori going to get the extra damage with that, and and you know the power up of the Tekken three Jin theme coming in here mm -hmm. as well. Look at the duck on that second hit of the tsunami kick, but they stop themselves from getting the wall break. Voila! Still brings the magic to the scene and cracks open the very first round of this TNS. All right, going in, kind of keeping the mid. Yeah, do the that down forward three from Lily here. Try to keep it. Try to make you guess. Stays on the back turn. Keep just keep you blocking. Goes ahead and uses like kind of the pushback on that up forward four three just to kind of keep back. But you can't stop this face from heat engaging. That was so far away, Risky. Oh, and we block and punish Matterhorns out there. We have got it. The Sweets Events Chow is showing us some special treats tonight. All right, already nice duck on there, but tried to go in for the uh, the like the four uh, four four uh, four. There got thrown in the, for the trouble here. Chow getting a like uh, kind of even out here on the prone, but getting the better part of this with a nice little float there. Really good flow right there. One of the most optimal ones. Ui is putting on some of this Lily back turn pressure though. Into the submissive heel, into the homing move. Now with their back to the wall, it just completely steals that timing of Ui. And Ui, that was a counter hit. Yeah, goes ahead, activate T, why not? You're so far away, you can't really do anything about that. You're gonna get in the wall. Another duck, you're still back turn, and immediately cancels out a back turn to go in for the wild standing too. Get that, that damage in there, get another round. Access like fill up that dot on the Scantron. That was beautiful. Nice float yet again. A lot of Lily's approach tools are linear and aerial, so you'll get float as well. Oh my gosh, the wall standing one two. The second hit gets stuck in the Lily matchup. You gotta know that one. Yes. And Shao got so much mileage off of that knowledge. Yeah, still working on that. Perfect. Not anymore though. Got hit with the one one three afterwards here. Going to go down. Just going to get a low, but uh uh uh, you get get a little bit of a punish from that low. Bui's jockeying, that was absolutely their moment to a whiff punish, didn't happen. They do have some recoverable life left, and the Swiss Army Knife, the Stature Kick, catches Bui pressing off Axis. All right, kind of keeping it back. Oh, immediately tried to go in for the down forward three plus four, got like hit out of it. Could have been a lot worse though with the situation mm -hmm. for, uh, for Yui. Yeah, just like the last couple of times they got floated. Nice punish on the wall standing two. They are pushing, trading, and now just doing so good at ducking every high string. All right, kind of capping. This time makes its mark. Here goes with the 3-4 afterwards. Going to continue that combo. Going to get close to the wall as possible. Does get it. I like the use. I go ahead to activate T. Just try to, try to get a little bit of extra damage. Misses Woo. on that thanks to the wall. All off being off axis. And Xiao getting the victory of that. It's like taking advantage of that. That was a crazy, that was the first game, Risky. Very first, very first. You saw it like, as I'm going in, like, this is kind of where we're at. We're, we're at that nice little sweet spot where we're at. The game is still new, and we're but we're starting to figure some things out. Everyone, like, up from the, like, the tippity top of the list down, like, like downwards. We're just, we're all finding our groove in certain special ways here. And you're going to see a lot of just unique actions here. It's going to be awesome. Did you see when they traded in the, one of the last interactions they traded, Jin, excuse me, Xiao had used his heat smash. So it spent the heat smash on the trade and he didn't get anything out of it. So I was like, oh man, Ui's got the heat. But Xiao just kept it going, was able to keep the scramble like in his favor. That was like really clutch. Yeah, no, it, it's one of those things where uh, um, a lot of, like Xiao was getting a lot of really good damage with the, uh, um, like uh, getting like into the wall and being able to continue on that um, 
it's been like, but it's just, uh, just kind of keeping it like poor. So Yui was just uh, trying a lot of different buttons, like trying to see like what would work. And they were working. It was getting some damage, but Jao was able to just get on top. By the way, we do are accessing, the, we're, we are using the new Evo Japan rules where uh, where it says like all every stage is random now on this. So like if you haven't seen that, that's just a recent change that that we've been seeing on that. So that is going to be the, like, uh, like other events online. So like TNS is also adopting that for this TNS Tuesday. That combo right there, that off axis blackwing uppercut right there from Xiao, that was freaking amazing. That was godlike. Oh, oh finally, Ui gets the down force three plus four to hit and not get floated out of it like they did so often in that first match. Voila! And just trying to get even the back roll catches as well. All right, catches on it. Go to head. He sends a little bit of the burst. Tries to go for the uh, the one, well, one plus two grab. Get breaks out of it. Shall kind of keep keep it on there. Uses the one one three in there to get the gear, like the damage afterwards. Very nice round for Yui. Absolutely. I like that sidestep duck. That was some good stuff. You definitely want to do that. Ooh. All right, Gal catches. Can get you on the low. Double stature kick. Oh, that's, that's got some energy, man. Yeah, chop some energy. Uh, chop some trees down. Goes ahead. And activates the heat there. Let's get the push in a little forward because yeah goes out and spins out that that meter by like like on there trying to keep up the pressure in the corner Ooh. there yeah catches on the low once more again getting two on there a Jow working on a set point Jow has a really great punish with this wall standing four four it does so well and it sets up the down two into the demon paw yes look at all of these lows we are getting chopped down forget about it power mid e smash and that will finish our first set of the night. Explosive finish. Good mm -hmm. gravy. A lot of you. And uh, like been on a tear with that character. So it's been kind of a, uh, it's been kind of fun. And like, of course, Reyna, uh, especially in the right hand, is a, is a danger to everyone. And I like, I love that customization. This is a sick custom right here. King Ray X, hold forward. Your custom win. Okay. All righty. Yeah, does not get to at the second hit? Just combo. That's a shame. Get the follow up though afterwards. Oh, using the two strings, King Rags just knowing exactly when to power crush. Oh. Okay. Yeah, goes ahead and like gets the uh, the, the wall slam on there. Not on one of the explosive walls, but gets a little bit of damage on that. Trying to catch it up. Finishes out the stream. A punish from King Rex here. Oh, you got the backflips. I love it when they backflip. Oh, you got counter hit, but unfortunately, you didn't get the guaranteed option off of that. Very interesting right there. The couple stun made it so that the high whip, that was kind of wild. Yeah, June has a lot of those moves too, where you just when you think she is done finishing the string, it's like, nope, nope, I, I, I got more to say. I got more. I am still, I still have time on the on, on the table here. I need to finish my speech here. Meanwhile, going to get that headbutt in here. Back to the wall we go with Silky Links here. Going to get that down there, get the little stomp. But it's just out oh, there. Getting the, yeah. Great health potion usage right there, but Silky Link. Just go straight for a heat smash of their own. Afterwards, huge damage, and we're tied up in the round count. Okay. Yeah, finishes off. Got like goes on the stick. Yeah, immediate use of heat engage there, trying to get on the fall. Fall move, but yeah, going into uh, the Sentai Stance into four, like get the uh, the heat engage afterwards on that. Going ahead, Heaven's Wrath gets goes for the, the mid afterwards here. Going to get the extra damage in the corner, and just going to continue it off, just to continue using all of that into a nice little perfect for Silky Links. Gotta be wary of those frame traps right there. Forward four into down forward one. Carries up, but King Ray X uses the funeral palm and is fitting Silky up to end up in a casket. All right, go ahead, right back at you. Gonna kind of keep it down a little bit. Like goes ahead and uses the heat here. Kind of keep you away from that. Ooh, use those dashes. Ooh, great use of the homie move. I love it. Oh, didn't get the guarantee Sentai stance transition there. There's the heat engager. The yeah, heat reacts there back to the wall. The stone head into the immediate tornado. Where's the Oki getting yeah, stepped get on over your head? Oh, yeah, I love that can can right there. Yeah, goes ahead one more time. Oh, this time, yeah, uses the punch parry afterwards here. Gonna activate the heat on there. Get the low, get that confirm afterwards in here. Nice three to one for Silky Link getting one on the board wild that was sick like is the only way that you can help out check out some of those youtubes check out some of those twitch feeds 
and back to what we're doing check out these customs out here it's just eris it's it's eris from um final fantasy 7 right am i crazy well the, the um i'm like you're like with the um the, like with the white like on there i'm i'm with the nagi like i try to be with the naginata i'm not sure on that but what i do know yeah. is that you're getting hit by the uh, the sensei four here on the follow-up going to go ahead continue the headbutt into the charge in there going ahead and use it get that push away with the heat back right back at you Ooh. and getting hit with the the sabaki on there afterwards doesn't get a whole lot out of it but it's enough to get you away oh my goodness that string could have done it but it was not fast enough. Silky Lynx took that one with their defense. All right, going in. Oh, nice. Use of, uh, there's those can-cans again coming out to play here. Going to get like a nice little connecting flight there, but nothing much else afterwards here. Going to get the run up, like the run up three after. And saw that the uh, Silky Lynx was trying to attack. Goes ahead and activates heat just to make sure like get away. Get re uh, retake their turn. Another Sabaki right there. Ray X. Trying to get this thing closed out, but they're having trouble. Silky Link is in rage and has one more time. But the Sabaki once again. Yes, that was a Daft Punk move right there. One more time. It will do it. Try to get on there. He'll go tries right for the can cans. No, just like sidestep into the punish there. Goes in. Dang, all of these Sabakis are going crazy. He's like, please do 442 on me. As you please were saying do that. As you please were saying that. It. I want you to do it. You can tell I want you to do it. Oh, yeah. If, if it keeps working, you might as well keep doing it. Get the little bit of punish on there afterwards here. Yep. Nice launch from King Ray, King Ray X. Good to get follow up. You're going to switch out the tornado. Finishes off with the can cans and try to go dash in with the, the while running three. Gets in on the low. Goes in heavily wrath. Cool. Right for another Sabaki, Silky Link said, all right, fool me four times, game <laughs> on me. Exactly, exactly. Got it up here. We are on set point for Silky Links here. Goes at, hits with the, like, gets the guaranteed uh, four after Sentai Sance. Going to get the, uh, like, one more time. Gets it, goes ahead and gets the extra damage. Why not? A great keepers right here. Oh, the trade into going. Lightning gun right there. <laughs> yeah, tries to go for the Sabaki again Sabaki. this time. So consistently, it's such a good idea, but unfortunately, you can't be using it in every situation, and therefore, it's totally gonna take it off the King Ray X. No hard feeling, kid. Yeah. Silky Link's gonna be moving on, but like, right here. Ooh, ooh, I love the custom. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, like with the uh, like, and of course, the, like shout out to the uh, like the, the you know like the on um, the Goku from Flip King. Very nice, uh, R.I.P. Toriyama. R.I.P. Toriyama. All right. Oh, I like it. Blitz King didn't get the punish in time. King Ray Senior and Blitz King kind of both making me think that a little bit more punishment training needs to happen, but. We're gonna keep the nooch going. We're gonna keep it moving. There we go. That's what I wanna see. That's right. Don't let me even think that you're not on the tip top of your punishment game. Yeah, got it in one there at the follow up here. Try to go in forward, and there is that some of that speed from uh, from Lars here from from Blitz King. Going to get the follow up all the way to the wall, but not quite there. Just goes in and gets a little bit of low. The llama does not care in the world right now. I love it. The armor moved from far away, but. Pressed way too early on that. Blitz King gets the big counter hit down back four, and you're going way over there. Yeah, almost got pushed all the way to the other end of the wall here. Does get the like a, pun a little bit of punish on there, but goes for low, and King Ray Senior saw that. We're gonna get that go, go into the giant swing and hello wall. Oh, he needs himself a floor break. He didn't get it down forward one. Apparently does not break the floor. He first right back at him into heat smash. Using that elbow is such a great idea, but he wasn't able to steal the turn. Blitz King was so patient there, Risky. Yeah, no, like excellent just use of at the very end here. But hell, going to get the, like the counter hit property on that for King Ray, King Ray Senior here. Tries to go in for the launch again. Blitz King giving a little, a little bit of hit there and a little bit of extra chip damage alongside of it. But it is going to be King Ray Senior with the throw. Ooh, I like not doing the second hit. Yes, Power Crush finds its mark, but Blitz King feels the momentum back. King Ray Sr. didn't use the option that had the right timing on it, and Blitz King gets a huge combo off that. 
All right, goes in, gets finishes off the play. Got two in there, looking for one more to finish off this match here. Has that has that extra like could like a wall, like a floor smash could happen at any moment between these two. Both of them very volatile in that in that sense here. Goes in, tries to go in for it. This time getting the giant swing, tilt the whirl all the way through, and does the oh. tech afterwards. They do like a bow up animation after that on like counter like like when they get killed. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, flip over, flip king, trying to use the orbital. Sorry, the running three got meow meowed on into moon salt. I love moon salt. No, yeah, no moon. Moon salt has always kind of felt like it's, it's just like it's like how do I get away from this move? But especially in that situation, oh, tried to go for it at the end there, nothing for like in it from Blitzkrieg afterwards here. A little bit of trade to blow here. Does get the shining wizard afterwards. Ooh, that tight step up to the side, but King Ray Senior couldn't keep the momentum up. Neither Blitzkrieg or King Ray Senior have broken this floor yet. After all this time, will he do it here? Can he get the extra combo damage that he needs? That goes ahead, spins it out, like goes in there, it just goes in, yeah, gets the shoulder tackle at the end there. Blitz King going to get the first one of this set. Beautiful. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. This is what I like to see. Yeah, this is one of those things, too, where, like, uh, Blitz King wasn't really breaking a whole lot of throws. Uh, King, King Ray Senior was able to get in there with a lot of uh, giant swings, got in with the Shiny Wizard and a couple other things. But Blitz King just kept on, kept on ticking, Energizer Bunny style, just goes all the way down... Like, like, kind of like pushing in there and just getting those hits where they count. Uh, we saw a lot of good, uh, especially in that final round there, got the, got the counter hits on the lows the in there battle. just to be able to get to the wall. But we're going right back into it. We're descending into the subconscious. I was saying earlier to our production team, look at the moon in the background. I never noticed, but it's so big, this moon. It's beautiful. Oh, yeah, it's one of those uh, like harvest moon type things. Yeah. Like a, a Bloodborne starting area. Oh. Yeah. We yeah, already have a purple ground already for a ground hit. Blitz King in heat. It's the heat engager. That does not break the floor. King Ray Senior's got a long way to go if he's trying to get this ground. Blitz King says, nah, nah, this strip is mad short. Throwing you off a cliff. No, we, we are. Yeah, we are living rent free in this person's head that we're fighting in right now. We're going to continue down on the mid. Go ahead. That's going to break up the floor. Yeah. Sir, another one. Get even more wall carry and Oki. Mm, Try to wake up back you're all the way over there. Wall splatted. Could he get even more combo off of this? That was beautiful. Good side step off of the moon salt right there, Risky. Yeah, it goes in, gets a low in there, but afterwards, like King King Ray you're ready to reciprocate. Gets in with the with the good wall rising one-two there. Catch it, catch it on there. Gonna try to uh, go uh, on there again. This time, going in in the middle of the, the middle of the arena. We got a giant swing coming in there. Gets the tech afterwards. Ooh, nice power crush. That was absolutely perfect. Power crushing heat engagers, guys. They are so good. Nice that one too. King Ray Senior doesn't get punished for it. And Blitz King just using a bunch of really big buttons. No punished on that. Oh my gosh, King Ray Senior. Shame on you, sir. This Gets hit with the orbital. Or dastardly time. Oh, yeah, right there. I try to use a power crush move, like re ready for it. Blitzkin gets on the following, and like the, the the angle being slightly off there, ready to get it on the forward, but the going down King Blitzkin getting with the 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 down uh, like the down three there, getting the, the nice little punish there at the very end there on set point. That was crazy. He did a pop shove it, and Blitzkin caught him on the way down. That was nasty. King Ray Senior says, on the way down, that gives me an idea. Let's go down to the desert. Yeah, we need to go to the desert, but like this desert to change here. Going to get the follow up on here. There's a side switch on there, but misses on like the, on the connecting flight there. Oh, there's no kill for that. All good though. King Ray Senior says, I'll get my damage eventually. Yeah, final round of this. King Ray Senior is seeking to keep alive here. Goes down, get like a little bit of extra hits there. Catching on that, get the follow up. This time the throw on Blitz King's side. Gonna get the damage. Just go uh, stand up for three and hello, Chain Grab City. Yes, sir. Knows how to break the two. Atlas Hammer into clothesline combo. That's wild. Look how off axis you are. Look how much damage you took. Another yeah, incorrect Oki choice by Blitz King, but he is enraged now. 
Yeah, almost caught on that. Just get the follow up. No follow up on there afterwards here. Like, where's the heat engage? And Blitz King. Oh, what? Hold on. Smash, smash, beat, smash, beat, beat first. It is a true rock, paper, scissor right there. Ingray Sr. tried to press before he should have tried to. Terry custom. I love it. I love it. What? Not the Alisa? Obscure? With the Azacena? It you know, can't be. I want to say, and I please quote me if I'm wrong. Like, uh, please correct me if I'm wrong here. But I think, uh, I, I do think I saw the Azucena come out in TNS a little bit from NG Obscure. Um, I could be wrong. Fair enough. We haven't seen it at our local yet. I'm excited. Obscure using great spacing traps and backdashes to get their facing here on the life lead. Looking how Barbecue got heat on deck and is sitting with Rage and breaking throw. Let's go. Yeah, we're going all the way in there. Al gets a, gets a follow up on there. Going to get a nice little combo on the side of Smoking Hot Barbecue. Yeah, get that little tornado here. A little bit of throw. And again, just like ah, the Terry perfect. custom is so good, especially with Steve. Nice Oki right there. Smoking Hot Barbecue could have Woken up backwards, um, excuse me, with the down back, or could have spring kick. That's basically the only two options. Smoking Hot Barbecue gets that one plus two in heat engaging, and gets that amazing Albatross heat dash. Huge amount of damage and reward for that timing read. Yeah, back on the dry land we go here. Gets a little bit of extra hits from the low here. NG Obscure's turn right back at you. We're just kind of like, like kind of feel it out from that range two, three. Oh no, catches on the float, very nice. Beautiful keep out jab from up here. It's a great float, huge combo, and got himself a little bit of Oki as well. And he catches once again. Going in, like going into the tornado afterwards here. No power dive, but like close enough here. Tries to go in for the low again. Neji up here re recognizing the pattern in there. Tries to go in for the heat engage afterwards. Smoky Hot Barbecue gets in with the low afterwards, getting the point on the board. That uh, back one is doing work right here. Obscure using the Espresso Aggression. Gets hit again by the counter hit back one. No cutscene, but check out all this damage we're doing out here. All right, kind of keep it back in there. And again, NG Obscure got caught another little bit of float, but not as much damage this time around here. You gonna follow up? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, get that extra damage for the heat engage afterwards. Yeah, while running to 3 2. The, the terror of the high seas of Tekken 8 at the moment. Looking at Barbecue in that space where they're not in rage. They have lots of recoverable health. Tried to get a whiff punish right there. Couldn't do it, but got an armor move instead and has opportunities, but obscure. Running the down forward one mid check immediately after. Stop smoking hot barbecue in his tracks. All right, kind of keeping the back here and trying to go in and follow up. Uh, Smoky Hot Barbecue is throwing out a move, a lot, a lot of moves at long range and whipping on him, giving NG Obscure a, a possibility to get the punish on there afterwards here. But it, it is going to get a little bit of extra damage after the heat, the, the heat dash there. That's so cool that that gives a heat dash after that clinch grab. Obscure whiffs the attack and Smoky Hot Barbecue doesn't think that the whip punish is right. He's still jockeying for their own positioning though. Right. Yep, gets a grab on there. One more. NG Obscure has a point on the board. The, um, like, with the... Smoky Out Barbecue was doing some nice things with Steve. Like, kind of, like, playing right, to it. Like, back to the correct stage. Here go. Terry Bogart versus the electrifying Disco Queen. Look at this getup. I'm loving this. Yeah, no, definitely going in. Oh, he tried to go in for the, the low from Obscure for the beginning. Like, got a little bit of a trade here. And we're already getting approached to the wall, but gets launched for the trouble. Dick while standing. Had that whiff punishment timing. Absolutely perfect right there. Here waited just a little bit too long. And Smoking Hot Barbecue is fighting their way out of this corner. All right, catching on the low again. One more launch for the road here, all the way to the wall here. Does get like all the rolls, like the tech roll away here, but just like Obscure being able to keep it. Both players are in rage, but it doesn't matter at this point because Obscure gets the last launch. Another back dash wins the day. Back dash, low block. Obscure is getting so much mileage out of. Man, smoking a barbecue is throwing these hands out here. Just running with these sonic fangs. Yeah, 
Big enough, like, got, got Fitz Row while running 3 2. Going into the wall here, gets a little bit of extra damage on top of it here. So, Buggy Heart Barbecue already in rage here. 18 seconds into the match here. Gonna have a long way to go if, if I can, though. Forward. But the rage says, hello, you know what? I want that round. That's my round now. I have it. We're on set point. Smoking Hot Barbecue is getting flamed out here, turning into charcoal. Obscure again using this back dash to his advantage. Crun in the calf reaper <laughs> into more launches. Smoking Hot Barbecue has got their back to the ropes. Yeah, no crack shoot to be found anywhere near this series. Uh, this series of uh, use on here on the follow up. Like, kind of keeping the back here, like, in that rage territory here. Does get the heat engaged. Gonna get a little bit of the life back. Very important for Smokey Hot Barbecue at this point. Yo, and the back ones. Using Obscure's desires to back dash against them. Obscure's back is to a wall. All right, and in that, in that like, they have been able to go through it and, like, power through on the on the power crush. Smokey Hot Barbecue was able to get one on the board here. Tries to go for it again. No can do. Oh, do get blocked, but we're getting closer and closer to the wall where that smoky hard barbecue would have been at if it didn't get like hit with that launch from Obscure. Big old right there. Woo! And then the axe kick heat engages, putting on all of this chip damage. Obscure just using the instant running three twos, but now smoking hard barbecue is in rage. But is he gonna get the chance to use it? No risky. No, unfortunately, was not able to get it at all. And Obscure will be moving on in the bracket. 2 0 there. What can I say? Yeah, Back probably that and like had a. Had a, other Lily players on their team as well and be able to show that ha, like has the knowledge to kind of keep that going in the process here But anyway, here we go. We're right back at it We're back on the farm here llamas are all the day and already with the low parry We're gonna get the, the wild rising three on that afterwards. It's gonna win the damage Perfect that interrupt right there was gonna be something that you didn't get the end of if it didn't work out Oh the magnetic knee out there lethality <laughs> Trying to put VDX in the corner, but VDX fighting right back out. Yeah, right back. And already going in the 444, using that quite to adva an advantage there. Already getting like the first dot filled up on their side. Yes, absolutely beautiful. That counter hit, mule kick, gets them, blast them on the wall. 50% damage combo, Risky. All right, <laughs> already down there. Oh, he got, got in the back turn. You got to keep you guessing here. You're in the silver corner, still kind of feeling it out there. Getting a couple hits, goes into the orbital afterwards, but no can do here. Just a lot of down forward ones and all that. And did the side, uh, the side step into the combo damage in there and the one, one, three to get the victory there. That seemed like lethality. Had some problems with punishment earlier and PDX fell blood in the water. Ease that whiff punish. That was so good. Ooh, and there it is again. Crap. Lethality wanted to dash in and press a button, but PDX is like, nah, son. Gotta be more careful with that. That goes in. Wall combo. What the wall sending? Wall sending. One, two, three, and they're out of victory. And as I was, I was trying to finish explaining that PDX already has the first match on their plate. Yeah, a couple of punishes not being done right there at the very last interaction. PDX did a move that back in Tekken Seven was only 10 frame punishable and it left you in crouch. Mm. This game, it is 11 frame punishable, that mid launcher that she has from back turn. So now most characters can get something decent off of that attack right there. But lethality wasn't ready for it, froze up get and thought that maybe battle. it wasn't their turn again and got steamrolled by PDX. Yeah, that forward four has been putting in a lot of work, especially, and I like that, especially because you said it yourself earlier with lethality with Lars. Like, Lars just want, like, wants to get up in your place up close and personal and want to keep that rush down happening. PDX is stopping that a lot of times using that forward four, and this time going to get the launch and going to get the follow up afterwards. Nothing af after, you have to go into the three plus four after on the on the dew drop. I'm loving PDX movement right here. He did so much movement and then did an attack and said, I'm going to immediately hop kick afterwards. Beautiful. Thinking that you're going to mix up the timing and then just go straight for that pressure afterwards. Great, great second eight play by PDX. All right, try to go for the uh, the down four three from uh, from Lily there. No can do there. Lethality does get the orbital this time around and it's going to get a lot of wall carry from this one alone. We're almost at the wall at Coliseum, Fox. 
what in the realignment was that? He swept 90 degrees in the middle of that screen. Good yep. interrupt right there by PDX and gets a high step wall combo, but drops it. Does get the heat engager though, and Lethality is on his last legs. Alright, goes ahead and uses it right back at you. Tries to go for the, the one plus two, gets all like follow it, and what a block for PDX. They are going for the down three afterwards to get another set point PDX. Oh, that's risky, that attack that Lethality did right there. Not as risky as that one. The down back four trying to get that counter hit, but got launched themselves. I kind of keep in the down, like just a little too far away. Can't really do anything else afterwards. First hit of that while standing too. Going to get a couple of it and just find a little bit of like, just getting the hits where they count here. Doesn't need to do on it. Already working on a full perfect. Did get catch uh, a Lily in midair, so does going to get a little bit of extra damage from like from that on the knockdown, and going to just go ahead and use the rage art just mm. to make sure, just send a message more than anything else. I don't know if I agree on this rage art here. Maybe give them a little time to think. They do have heat. BDX though using the keep out jab, but whiffs their heat first, and Lethality spends it. This could be it. This could do it. Yes, the heat dash BDX finishes Lethality off with that three round to our next match here we got ourselves reina versus jack eight and i i love this jack eight custom here this is beautiful i'm loving it look at the movement out here okay cook cook up let me see it all right i you know i do think that betty like if you're if you're betting on channel points in the chat i think betting by, by customization is perfectly viable here so going okay. in mr joel versus cook Oh, no launch on the 1-1-2 one, one, right there. Cook is putting it down right now. Ooh, the counter hit war god kick puts Cook in his place, but unfortunately, Tom will not finish up. Yeah, a little bit of use of that while rising 3 plus 4 from uh, from Mr. Joel there. Like a little bit, uh, it's a lot of the moves you don't see that often, but in the right circumstances, it's kind of like Skyscraper from uh, Steve. Like it, it can be effective, but unfortunately, Cook getting the first one on the board there. You can tell that Cook plays on Hitbox. There's no way those <laughs> back dashes are happening on a lever. I'm telling you. It was nice, but not nice enough to get away from Mr. Joel's wall combo. Ooh, the All Gamma right. Perry into the Heat Engager. I want, Mr. I want off Mr. Joel's wild combo ride, please. Thank you. Goes Ed, gets in with the, with the like, the, 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 the stand, like, Zen 4 in there. Going to get a nice little punish from it. Ooh, putting on the pressure. Even the electric butt was goes too far away to get the whiff punish. Cook is Cook, though. Tied up on the round count from that long range hell sweep. All right, just a little seared on the on the, on the skin there. Get the follow up on that nice use of it going into heat engage after on on the four. Get the third, like good good tech on the throw there on the follow up, and we're just kind of playing that one to two range game here. Yeah, Cook was. In that danger zone for a little too long right there. The guard break didn't happen, but all of that damage did perfected over Cook. Alright, goes ahead, gets a launch here. He's gonna get like kick down in there to a little bit of tornado, not quite to the wall. Act no, tried to go for the heat smash to get to the wall, but unfortunately just was a little too far away, a little bit too late on that. Joel did a great job by having the two on two. But didn't get a launch punish, so Cook is still in the driver's seat when the life lead is concerned. Not punishing the negative knight. Back one plus two. Mr. Joel, you better fix it. You better redeem yourself here. Yeah, Cook had a look. Uh, Cook tried to punish on the heat, the heat engaged there, but unfortunately was like just a little too far away here. Even out the life bar, Mr. Joel is going in. One more hit is all the needs here. Just going to kind of keep up with the highs there. Going to follow up. Yeah, get out. You're a little bit plus afterwards. Get that damage on the lows in there. Joel up to three to one there. Going to get one on the board. Great job doing the down jab right there after the running shoulder. The running shoulder only put Jack at plus three. Mm -hmm. And. The 13 frame moves, while they can be good, the 13 frame and slower moves that would have beaten that down jab, they can be good. Most of them are not his powerhouse attacks. Not back one plus two, down forward four, forward two. He's got down back one, right? Down back one is a nice 12 frame low hitting attack that would have beaten that down jab, but down jab seems to be a lot of really good options in that situation. 
Yeah, no, definitely. It was. Uh, we were seeing a lot of uh, kind of also set up from uh, from Cook battle. trying to trying to be able like going in like going into like that new stance that uh that Jack has like you know, like on the wall there, especially that first round. But we're going right back into into the stratosphere here as we go right back into this next match. Yeah. Ooh, nice sidestep two, and gets the rocket kick. But Mr. Joel just takes it right back here. Gets the instant tornado and sets up to a wall. All right, a little bit like interesting. Like it, it actually pushed, uh, like pushed away from the wall at the end there. Like got it, got uh, Mr. Joel in a precarious situation there. But like way able to recover on that, especially with this nice uh, comp like combo afterwards. Activating heat in the middle of that and falling. Go ahead, gets another one. Going to finish out that clear that life bar all the way. Beautiful stuff right here. Oh. Two jab into down four two. The classic. Cook is too busy backdashing to actually get whiff punishes, but will get this duck and punish on this string. All right. This time does get the heat smash on there. Go get the follow up. A little bit of. I'll try to use another like a power crush. Do a power crush on the Mr. Joel side here on it. There we go. Oh my gosh, that was wall carry. I really thought he had it. Does get the four four catches. <laughs> Ducking, and that is guaranteed down forward one, one plus two wall splat after that. Mr. Joel's got one round left. All right, catches on it. Go, nice duck from Mr. Joel here on this side. The, uh, but the, uh, not really nothing after us, but uh, it's going to be Cook who's going to get the, the floor smash in here and the combo alongside of it. I'm punishing the dual snatcher right there. No duck on that. That's going to put Mr. Joel in a situation of advantage. And look at all of this, the hell actual, so much chip damage is happening to Cook right now. He's got to do something, and he doesn't have the ability to break that grab either. Oh, he goes for Power Crush when he has no life like that? Yeah, just like does it, does, takes a risk for it, and will like work out in their favor, but now he has a little bit more to work with here, and it's going to, Mr. Joel's going to get that punish in there and go to move on in the bracket. That is a shame. Cook. Oh yeah, so shout outs to the boy Uncle Jay out there in the chat. Hope you vibing. We got ourselves a good match coming up here. Right, Ooh, yeah, that's zero on block. So if you're pressing something slow afterwards, you're gonna get counter hit. Super huge amount of damage right here. And Mac is gonna put himself on a wall? Sheesh! Yeah. Perfect for the first round. Yeah, we were talking about like, you know, dragging off of the count, the unstoppable force, but I go here. I know, just like you know, but I'm, no, no, you're not going to be, be able to play here. I'm going to make it, make it so that I, I get that and like prove these commentators wrong here on that. But Mac, is going to be a little bit of extra, like a little damage here? Going to get the follow up. Going to get those plus frames afterwards. One more time here. No sidestep. I'm loving this custom right now. Oh, you know what? I'm also loving these sidewalks from both players. They are doing so well with the lateral movement, showing us how Tekken 8 gives us the ability. Oh my goodness, Mac did not have the patience for that third one, and he's one interaction away from losing this round. All right, goes in for the down two, but gets a punish after after with Ibo already up two here. Going right back in it. Again, there's that side step coming back into play here. A little bit of punish in there, and you try to go in, and Ibo says, hello, I'm gonna launch you. Excuse me, pardon me, I got a wall to get to. Oh, huge damage. Gigantic. He burst immediately, and then Mac just throwing that sidewalk out so often. But look at the recoverable health right there. He needs to do something quick. He has the ability to bring it back, but the delay, unfortunately, <laughs> I both says no. You don't get to do any dragon off thing. That's how you beat dragon off. They say don't let him do dragon off thing. Yeah, turns out if you if you don't let him press buttons, they can't. Uh, they're not going to win. That's just how it works there. It's just simple math at that point. Uh, and I Ibo was uh, especially kind of playing through there and like kind of like faking out, like going into like going into the stance, take canceling out of it, going into, it, and then finally finishing off, especially at the wall to get that splat afterwards. Very nice, uh, very nice setup from Ibo there. Everybody in the chat, press a button, Mac, please. <laughs> Please stop trying to move all over this guy. He's catching you. He's got you going, especially with those II stance mixes. We'll see how Matt mixes it up in this next game. Yeah, Tekken 8 wants you to press those buttons. And going ahead and getting there. Ibo is going to press them all day here. Going to get a little bit of damage here. Oh, yeah, too far away. Back dashing on the, on the, on the hammer. On there. Going to get the, the, the heat activation on there. Going to get the follow up. 
One more time, but we're still at the wall nope. here. Shush on that. Yo, okay, Mac gets a big wall splat. Doesn't go for Tornado, though. For floor break, he is definitely blocking that one. I know <laughs> the call of the haunted right there. You want to do the same thing three times in a row and tell him that you got caught by it. But Ooh. Mac, it's the counter hit low that time. Little too greedy, Ibo. Yeah, down to making its mark there. Going to get the first round here. And we're already back into like Ibo not pressing any buttons here. Just going to keep it on one and goes in for the low immediately, which is blocked by Mac and gets a launch. And they're all the way into the corner. Very short. This first part of the stage is very short. You're going to get guaranteed wall, basically. Ooh, that was a great opportunity to heat engage because Dragonov would be loving to be doing frame traps after the first hatchet kick. Nice punish on the power crush. Doesn't do anything afterwards. Does put Mac into rage though here. Yeah, the amount of chip damage that has like gone on through there it just needs a couple of good hits. Uh, but um, also with like like kind of building up with the, like the aggression from Mac here. Oh, there's good like like good tech on the grab there. Get be able to get away. Get back into the neutral. 10, 19 seconds on the clock here. Gets a follow up here. Goes on for the down two. Goes in catches trying to like the run in. And gets another low block into the launch. In the last two rounds. Huge low block. Ibo using that low way too much to try to open up Mac. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very like being very hard to like deal with it. Like Dragonov can do like do the down two all day. It's like still like a still like a little negative at that point, but it's still a good move. Already uses like the uh, now activated ground force smash in there to get to the other side here. Ibo oh. having a chance. Look at that damage that Danny got right there. That was the off of a backpack. Whip on it. Catch it one I more time. That. Let's go. Mac is putting all the pressure out here. Now we playing Dragon off. All right, guy goes in. Kind of keeping him back and forth here. Goes in. One more time. Goes ahead and activate the heat out in there afterwards. Right back at you. I got it. But he actually canceled out of that. Gets a little bit of a punish, but nothing much else afterwards. He says you still got to use the down back four. You got to let him know that we have shooters out here. That was a crazy fuzzy low duck right there. Ibo went for and Max said, nah, I didn't want to press right there. You wanted to press right there. We tied up at the game count here. We're going to have ourselves a final game for this one. Yeah, well, all the way through there. Like, it seems like that first first match was all, like, kind of, like, dealing with, like, oh, Ibo is, uh, Ibo is keeping up that pressure. Mac, like, kind of, Mac being able to, like, wasn't able to get a whole lot of action here, but the adjustments from Mac as a result in there was able to kind of, get a little bit of extra damage in there in the process and was able just to kind of take use of uh, the, the the frustration that Ibo was having to go into the lows and get launch punishes from them. Yeah, Mac was doing really well at noticing Ibo's tendency and a huge counter hit sets the tone for this next round, but he doesn't get the ending on the wall combo and that could cost him. I'm not punishing that. Yeah, no punish. Uh, just went for the hammer afterwards in here. So, like, kind of going in, like, a little bit of a punish. We're going to go all the way to the wall here. Just go ahead and activate the heat just to get the extra damage on there afterwards here. Oh, God, that was... Actually, I say just a little bit of extra damage. That was half that life bar gone. Nice. Now, 401 string right there. Mac is trying to put on the pressure with the bar fight. But beautiful backdashes from both players. We are in that tightness and just so many ducks. So many jabs, not finding their marks, but finally the down forward one, let it rock, and Mac is down around. All right, yeah, sets so up the EMP afterwards, like on there at the beginning of the round, nothing to do. Everyone just press, trying to toss out a button, trying to press it. Ibo is going to be the one who presses first. Ooh, get those crouch dashes right there. Mac not trying to punish the Shining. Not sure if Dragonov has a long enough range button for that. Ibo pressing immediately after the plus seven on hit. Full crouch string saying you better do it. And Mac is now in rage. Yeah, all the way to the corner. Going to get the extra wall damage on top of that. And that was what a sequence there from Ibo. Actually being able to just get the uh, the wall smash from the low heat as a result. And now already has already two up here. Moving on to set point. Fight. Oh, here we go. Use a homie move and Mac again. Saying, I don't care if you use a homie move. You have to use a homie move again. Not uh, me from stepping. But look at all of the life already off of Mac's life bar. And a lot of these wall running moves here. Cancels out this time. Mac already duck in there. Gets a little bit of a punish afterwards on here. We're going back into the well. Getting the lows on there. No, no punish. 
Ooh, Mac tried to go for the cheeky timing mix right there. And of course you would use the move that's gonna get you killed if you do it. And now Mac is gonna go for heat maybe? Yeah, downstairs please. No, he dash. Instead, both players in rage. All right, kind of catching on there on the forward, and it's going to be Victor's knife going to be up in the way. Even though it had all that great health there, Ibo is going to carry on into victory Devil land. Devil Jin is actually the first character I ever got to see Landon play on. Oh. And I he was so stoked to play Devil Jin, and now we get to see Landon play Devil Jin. You know he on the Itaki Omni. He got that black Air Force energy, that black wings. Let's see what he puts on for us out here. Two hell sweeps already. Divine Exorcist, you better duck, you better do it today. Oh, already tried to go in for the charge up afterwards here. Like, Divine Exorcist having the chance in there to get, like, activate heat. Going to get in. Like, we're getting a lot of, wall, like, a uh, like wall, wall push here. We're going to go into the, almost, yeah, right to the other side, but no combo punish afterwards here. Just going to get the, get the punish on there afterwards. Kind of keeping those mids. Ooh, that was a sensual grab right there, but Landon says, no thank you, I'll have a massage later, please. Puts on some of those plus frames. Divine Exorcist using the grab to not respect them, but you're whiffing way too close to me. You're too close, man. Final yeah. flash right in your face, you're done. First round. What? Yeah, the, the, the extra damage you get for the lasers with all the like the combos that Double, Double Jin has in Tekken 8, like it's been like impressive in here, just as it was with that low getting like launch punished by Divine Exorcist. Going to go all the way, going ahead, activate heat, going to get that extra damage in there. Goes ahead and spins a little bit, has a little bit of meter juice to work with, goes ahead and uses it, just using every last drop of the heat meter. Good to the last drop with Divine Exorcist. That took the round. I love that new story you can he has. Cool. Divine Exorcist trying to make sure that Landon knows these are my plus frames. Thank you very much. Landon, see that delay right there? That was perfect. Yeah, goes ahead, goes in like such a nice side set from Landon D. Gonna get the punish, like a little bit of punish in here. Plays with the laser corner a little bit. Activates the heat, like, and again, that's one of the things, like, if you block that, you're going to get pushed closer and closer to the wall there. You're going to get an advantage, an advantage situation for Landon D, but does get, like, hit with the hop kick here. Divine Exorcist is going to return the favor. Oh, no. Way too much. Flight delay buttons. Flight delay button right there. Landon took that spacing and was able to get that back with the Rage Art. And look at this recoverable health. He's got the life lead now. All right, yeah, caught yeah. ducking on there. Did get like hit with the mid here. Just a little bit of life here. Tried to go forward Ooh. and like had the, the advantage of life was on Landon D's side there. Got the hit there. We're back in the round three. Lava blazing, hot plate. Honestly, I can't believe that that jab hit right in the middle there. I know you didn't think you were going to show it at the end of the last round. I think Landon wasn't going to try to duck it the second he saw it next time. You get choke slammed down to the ground for your ignorance, for yeah, your hubris. Yeah, so you can hear breast goes ahead, gets the like long range on that, like one more touch is all you need. Try to go in for it anyway. This time, a Divine Exorcist is going to activate, activate heat of their own uh, in response to the heat activation from Divine Exorcist. Land indeed going to get the first one. Dang, man. This right here, this is Devil Jin if I have ever seen it. This mm -hmm. is a Devil Jin lover's Devil Jin right here. <laughs> heat smash as much as we want use that charge up guard break that's been super cool to see double gym players use and then of course the hell sweep we mm -hmm. definitely run in that as well it is strong on the, the devil's battle. side for my man yes right. yeah like that was one of those moves in tekken 7 where it's like it's like okay you're gonna get a little bit of damage but you don't have to worry about too much when you get hell swept by devil gym tekken 8 it's like oh here we go here we go i got i got time i got time i'm gonna get all this damage on my on my side nope much punish on the up Land and D will remember that. He didn't have a back to the wall, so the guard break didn't actually happen in that situation. That's where it was. It was so close. And Divine Exorcist would be able to able to get it back. And the power crush immediately he doesn't want to give the turn up. Okay, goes in. Yeah, I get the uh, the light for it. Like cancels out of the uh, the like the guard uh, the guard smash there. Keep him down, we're all the way to the wall, but no punish on the wall. No extra combo. Or he smashes negative 14. That is 14 frame punishable. Landon D really risked it on that one, but he is up a game. One could say calculated risk. Yeah. 
Like, got in the flow, like, Lana D taking another risk there, like, in the favor of Divine Exorcist, gonna get right back into the wall, goes ahead, activate the heat. Divine Exorcist has been, like, just eager to activate heat as soon as, like, the slightest bit that they have advantage here. And mostly, like, it was for the favor here, and this time, Hanlon like, cancels out, tries a hop, kick the guard smash, but it goes through a little too far away for that. Dang, if only Divine Exorcist hit confirm that down forward three, like, 15 seconds ago, he wouldn't be here. But he does have himself with the wall, and Landon E just gets the flashback right back out. All right, so that, yeah, get the heat smash out there. One more touch is all going to be. Get to him with the low. Round three. Huge damage. Again, catches on the float here. That's been like where Divine Exorcist has been getting the most amount of damage here on this. But this sidestep from Landon D, gonna get a full back turn on this. Catches on here, get the guard smash on there afterwards here. And the hell sweep in there one more time for the road here. There you go, going all the way to the wall. Forget about it, that's it. Landon D one round away from taking this set cleanly off Divine Exorcist. What can he do to bring it back? All right, catches on it. Yeah, it goes ahead and like like ducks low on the lasers. Kind of goes in, tries to get a follow up, gets a little punish for the problem, but like has access to heat, so has access to the extra damage on alongside the extra parts of the, those moves from Claudio there. Going to use that to nice advantage here. Going to get get two divine exorcist fighting to stay alive. Oh, demon paw gets the heat engager to start things off right already. No whiff punish right there. Unfortunate, but Landon is putting Divine Exodus back, and Divine Exodus gets their own prayers on the way. Their hope, their dreams, their lightning arrow is on the way. <laughs> Survival point versus that point here. Right, goes in. Try to get a little bit of that. That breaks on the one, on the one plus two. Still has access to the wall. Does get the splat on there afterwards here. Get the follow-up. Activate Starburst. And there's that hop kick coming out to play. Divine X is just warming up here, making it one to one. Wow, they really brought it back there. And gosh, that hop kick knowledge of the spacing right there threaded the needle in between the laser scraper. Could have been really scary to press on that because they could have gotten floated and huge damage done could have took them out. But Divine X just knew exactly where to put that. Yeah, there was a couple times where, like, especially in that first match in there, like, uh, Landy D was kind of keeping up the pace with uh, doing the same things we saw in the first first match with uh, Devil Jin on there. And Divine Exorcist was, you could see that they switched up the gameplay, but, uh, like, was trying to, like, trying to punish the uh, the guard smash with the hop kick, which is a little too far away, a little bit, like, on that. But was able to kind of, after, after that first round there, was able to kind of, like, balance it back out and kind of find that pathway to victory. Definitely. Definitely. The, the, the spacing battle. was definitely what was the telltale yeah, yeah. sign of victory for Divine Exorcist in that last game. Landon D is out here. Finally doing that up forward to start the round. You cheeky dude. I do not think so. Nice big kick energy to fill it out. Let's go ahead and have that. Has got the hop kick into Starburst. Goes ahead and activates that heat here. Going to follow up. Oh! You know, that actually saved the fine exorcist though. Was a little too far away. Tried to get like back with the like the flash there from Landon D. No can do there. Was able to punish afterwards. Okay, kinda keep it down. Try a little bit too far away here. Going to get the follow-up. Like we're kinda, kinda playing out those ranges here. Kinda keeping up there keeping up there. Yeah, Landon really wanted Divine Exorcist heat to go away in that situation he does get the guard break and the life is about even here landon doing great job using the sidestepping but tries to get a whip punish doesn't get it gets punished of their own and then a big launcher from divine exorcist yeah, so that activates the starburst like uh, try to go go one more time doesn't have access to heat anymore but doesn't even need it here we're up to divine exorcist on set point from like what was seems like a very dire situation A break on the White Mountain throw. Divine Exorcist goes immediately into the heat first and then gets the reward. Heat dash floating the floor into wall combo. This is definitely Divine Exorcist's situation right now. 
And yeah, gets it on like on, like gets a side switch and like advantage for Land and D here on this nice side step from Divine Exodus. Gets a little bit of a punish afterwards here, holding back, just like kind of like waiting waiting it out here. Playing a little bit of small tech and get the side step one more time. Blocks it this time. The big chance here. Divine Exodus doesn't go. Doesn't have the chance in there. Misses all the launch punishes. They have that one chance. Immediate activation into the raid drive. Gets a block. This time the hop kick comes into play. And that is all they wrote there. La Divine Exorcist going to be moving on. Wow. Round one. All right, here we go. We're going in. Young P versus Jasandi. Jasandi has been uh, making a make tear in the TNS brackets. Like, like over and over again here. So like, I expect to see that good King play versus Young P on the victor here. And hello, we're going into Chain Grab City here. Great option right there. A lot of people will break one plus two in that situation because they don't want to get hit by the RDC. But just saying he just immediately went for the Chain Grab already. Is in heat, but got counter hit out of his own heat smash. And look at this combo damage. Already, we're going all the way, and you know, Victor can bait, like can carry the combo as long as he need to. But also, sometimes you just get that heat activated right back at you. Just Sandy getting the first point on the board. Ooh, down back four, you gotta use him. Sandy does well in defense. Ooh, whiffs the armor move, and Young P is doing a great job delaying his timing and moving. So much reward he's getting right now. All right, goes in, gets a little bit of touch in there, gets a push back on there. Shining Wizard with the counter hit damage there. Going to get a follow, but yeah, just a little bit of touch here. Young P going to get one to even things out. Wall standing four, super off axis. Great wall standing two string right there from just Sandy. Power crushing, and Young P still wants this pressure back. Gets a punish, puts all of it on, tries to go for the frame drop. None of that. Heat Engager, though, is putting a lot of damage on the board. Yeah, there's that floor smash. You're gonna see that treasure, that treasure base floor as you can here. Get the follow-up all the way to the wall already. We're in danger here. Gonna get a follow-up, and but no, 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 just Sandy is like, no, I, you're the one who's in danger. Get the throw on there on the other side here. Gets one more, might, might as well do. You don't work so well fast enough. I got another ticket, let's ride. My gosh, and he stands up afterwards to be like, oh, that hurt. Yes, no, nope, yep, I'm out. That's yeah, let right. me let me double check. Let me double check. Yes, that did hurt. Ow. Ow, I say. Going in, back into the wall. It explodes there. Going to get the other side here. Going to get a little bit of extra damage on the process. Like setting up the stance here. Like that. A little too early on the power crush on first. And there we go. We're just going to get both walls first. Just to make sure that we can here. This is going to be goodbye to all that health here. Still had the access to the tornado. Trying to finish this off here. A little bit... The scaling wow. doesn't matter at that point. Just goes in there, gets the damage, and nice. Perfect from Young P. Yeah, that's scaling right there. Just Sandy hitting that back one, two. Drops the combo, though. All right, kind of goes in. Gets to activate the heat on there. Gets, uh, gets down there. Oh, catches to Sandy pressing button there with the low, and that's going to be a full combo for Young P here. Going to fall in. Might as well get the... The continuing of the damage here on the other side here goes in for the low that long reaching low here and again young p just knows the stage from the like the back of their hand and is going to get it for it there do the oki at the end of those combos with the ii stance and just pressing in that distance with that two hit sword string to mm -hmm. whiff the first hit and then make just sandy think that you whiffed it and then the second hit hit him that was so calculated so well done and young p showed that his oki game is definitely nuanced yeah definitely um and that again Get like you, you said best spell. like setting up like oki on that also but just like how long that reaches over there is like as soon as you have enough have think you're going to be like set an oh, advantage yeah. there just sandy like was just getting punished for that in the point and we're going back to the boat time to have another boat party here get that get those short stages no more exploding walls thank you Danny wants this down forward too really bad but waited long enough to get the low block and punish on that big low goes in catches on the low there and also Iva Maya thank you so much for the subscription to TNS thank you so much you know what else was prime? That big old counter hit right there. The 2-2 two, two string 
putting on the pressure. I think that could have been 10 hit combo territory that we saw. Geeky, geeky. Young P like sidestepping to start things off here, but does like the power crush working in Jasandi's favor there. Gonna go ahead and get a, get a couple of little extra hits there into the heat territory here. Backing up and there again with that, that counter hit low sweep there from Young P. Gonna get all the way and just a little bit off the wall, just gonna get a little bit extra damage from that. Sandy is doing so well in defending after taking the down back four hits. Barely whiffs that, tries to catch him with the back roll catch, and punishes the down forward two from Young P. Eyes up the round count. All right, right back at you here. Got to go in and try to go in for the running, like the running high. It was a little bit too far away. Got just Andy got a little bit of a punish for that. Got to get the follow up. Continues on that a little bit. Holding back there, gets in with the drop kick. Closer and closer to the wall we go. No counter hit on that. Just good, like good old, good old raw damage is all you need to carry it on there up to. That was crazy. So like the down forward two was even more confirmable because of the smoke that started the heat. Uh, that he first right there. That was like super great. Young Ki though stops all of this momentum and gets 70% already. Look at him. No watch on the wall standing one. What is happening, Risky? Oh, the, we are like a slobber knocker. That's what's happening here. Goes and he, he engaged. Goes in immediately for the low there. And we're on set point for Young P. Even like just the simple act of like activating heat and going for the low, even at this level, like it just, it can work like in those situations. Right, that point versus that continuation point here. Running Taser is shocking just standing in the standing still. Can he get out? He yep. can. No, and you're going to go with the wall. You get that extra damage on top of that here. Just goes ahead. Activates Heat, heat Smash. Going to get the back away. Getting a couple lows in here on the process here, but just waiting out. Like, trying to end the chip away. I forget how much chip that actually causes, for, uh, like, in King's favor here. Does get the counter hit this time in here. That's all it wrote. Just Sandy getting one. Making it one to one. You know, if... Young P hadn't done a jab string there, he would have been fine. But mm -hmm. he did one two instead of just a single jab. And unfortunately, because of that, the counter hit stomach smash happened and you got clothesline from hell. And we get mm -hmm. a third game. That's what we wanted to see. That's best case scenario for us here at TNS. We want these, these third games happening. We want all of the smoke. We want all of the games. Absolutely, it just means more Tekken for me to watch, so, and more Tekken for you all as well. Get ready for the next battle. Back on the Sen here, going, going to the party, continue with the same custom, the Majima, like the Kiryu-chan, shouting out here. And here we go, already, get, like coming out from the bed, going in with the, like the high, the high, high smash there, follow up here. Mm. Ooh, it's a guaranteed situation right there. Huge damage, and just Sandy is putting it on. Shining Wizard into Heat Smash. Goes for the homie move. All right, goes in to like, try to go for the grab. No can do here. Just Sandy kind of pushing away here. What, what, trying to bait out any of these wall, the wall running moves that Young P has. There it is, gets get hit by in the process. Here we go. Almost got the counter hit right there with that delay. Almost had it. You should have got, you're gonna get got out here. Yes, you are. Uses yeah, the II stance to pull the last piece of health out of your face so far. Okay, breaks a little bit of a shin there, but like a young beach, shit, the breaking King's face in the process here. Gonna get a fall and go in with the low. Very smart choice there. Kind of get away, like get away there. While running, right back, power crush right at you. Oh, you can go crouch again. There, the heat engager finally starts itself. But just Andy is gonna put 80 damage on you right now. <laughs> a rage big swing. All right, catches on it. Just go ahead and activate the heat smash in there. That's all it needs for it to get to set point for Young P. Right, catches on the low. We are definitely using that perfumer stance well. Gets a grab and Sandy using just that, a little bit of that mixed timing tries to keep Young P out, but Young P is getting in with these counter hit cools. He could have had the dub right there. And no, guys, you're not 
seeing things. This is not pre-patch Victor. That was regular <laughs> patch Victor. That throw not getting broken by just Sandy. We have ourselves a match to get into here. We got Glaciating versus Junior 20Z. That's right. Glaciating was playing King Reaper. We're talking about how good King has been for him, how fun it is for him to run this game plan. Let's see it. All right, get the Shining Wizard in there in the front row. Already half of that health bar gone from Junior here. Um, and again, like we were seeing it before, and we're going to see it again, like definitely from like uh, from from Reina players. But being able to go into like into Sentai stance and being able to kind of play the mix-up game, it is very hard to like to deal with that, especially when you're first learning again how to deal with this character. Giant Swing. <laughs> I did that hit the wall, or was just that very close? Yeah, it was the tippest range of hitting the wall, but it definitely hit that wall. And Junior's not happy about it because he did not have anywhere near the amount of health to be able to make that comeback. Ooh, from downtown, three points for Glaciating there. But it's only one on the board here. Goes in, gets a low in there. Catches on the float for Junior 20 feet. Opportunity City. And a great wall as well. Junior 20 Z putting on the pressure. Oh, you forgot about what was after that, huh? But the string has been so far up axis that he destroyed himself on his own Oki and Glaciating the heat. Yeah, that's the second time, like, going into the stream that, like, Glaciating is being able to take full advantage of that. And it's going to get a second round on the board as a result of that. Going into round three, Glaciating looking pretty good here so far here. Going to catch in with the lows here. A little bit of, a, like, they'll get in with the electric here. Get in with a while, while standing two there. Nice. Going to get a good wall flat as well. Maybe touch the toes. No. Running through ego. Put on the plus frame. And Junya pulls it out of there with that counter hit string and it's the map advantage back. All right, a little bit like a little bit of stabilization here happening, but again, going to get on the wall here. A little bit of extra damage here with the, with the low. Going to catch on it. Nice duck from Junior 20Z. Going to get the like the, the stagger on there in the process here. Going to roll on the ground for a while. Get a little, get all those germs <laughs> down there. That was a shame he didn't get the full 1-1-2 one -one there. But maybe Junior can still pull it out. The keepers wouldn't track even that far. Glaciating really going for these hit confirms. Nine seconds remaining, and the big mid comes from Junior 20 Z. Yeah, we see a little bit of life come in here. Goes in for the hell sweep in there. Tries to go for it again, and yeah, that is launch punch ball and whiff there. Like gets like on, like get the like get the punish in there. Going to get all nearly all the way to the wall here. Going to have that pressure to build up on the on the process here. The use of the down forward one, one of my favorite strings. He does get out of the wall by breaking the tomahawk throw. He'll be back up, trying to keep Junior close to the wall here. Like sees the pro, like like trying to do the electric. No can do here. Goes ahead, activates heat. Junior, but that does bring Junior to to rage territory. There, going to get the extra damage on top of that. Could be adv advantageous for it. And there it is, like getting like one more, like one more hit is all it needs. The trade on that, and Glaciating was not able to get the uh, the trade at the secondary on that power crush. Still not still alive there, Junior. Glaciating wants to finish this off. Does get the low in there. Going to get one on the board. So many opportunities for Glaciating to have taken that, and, or excuse me, for Junior to have taken that. In that last round, mm -hmm. blocking those power crushes and not getting glaciating to stop doing the power crush. And man, that was a close final round right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was, um, it was one of those things where it definitely, like, maybe was trying to get used to the connection, used to, uh, like used to some things like like happening there, but like Glaciating is like, no, I'm just gonna sidestep. I'm gonna get you with your back turn. I'm gonna get that damage in there early on in there. And that was like kind of get like first two rounds were just battle. gone just from that alone, it felt like. Uh, but we're just gonna go right back into it. No hesitation needed here. Ortiz farm. Round one. Ooh, yeah, we're gonna wake up with some coffee out here. Space gating, getting a good punish, and the low parry. Junior says he's not gonna go low that many times on me. All right, gun. Push on there. There we go. Giant swing here. Another there's wall. Stops. Yep, there's a wall here. Llama doesn't care. Llama's like, hey, what, what you doing there? Right, one, 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 two. One, two. Great option, but he throws himself into the corner. Catches on like on the on the high there. Going to get follow up in the spin. Catch it like it with the low, the like the uh, like the extra heat smash it like on that. Very nice. 
That was the stance deep smash right there. You'd be forgetting that it can kill you at low health. Ooh, the instant running one plus two. Break, not broken, and did so much damage to Junior's life bar. Goes in, catches on it. Then this time, Glaciating going to get that punish in there. Tries to go for the giant swing again. No can do here. This time, breaking it. On there, tries to go for it again. This time, you are going to go for a ride here. I insist there. One more on the board. The giant swing, the one break, and the Tijuana Twister, and the running Shining Wizard have been doing really well for Glaciating. However, these throws are not going to win you this game. Junior 20 C says they are high, and I know what to do with highs. Yeah, goes ahead, gets in the corner, gets a little, like, spin the win on the process there. Glaciating going to get the counter there, going to pick up with the, the feet on there afterwards. Actually going to get all the way to the wall and does break it. Yup, and we're going to use this throw here to put you in the situation where you're against the wall. But the side roll situation actually makes Glaciating have their back to the wall. All right, a little bit of a trade there on the body. Glaciating fighting the way away back into neutral here. Going to get a follow up. Whoa. Attempting to whip punish electric, Glaciating got that dog in him, but was unable. 14 seconds remaining in the round. Yeah, this could turn around in an instance here. Activates a heat smash a little too early, and Junior takes the full advantage of that. Going to get into match point here. The revival point for Junior 20Z right here. He needs this. Nice. Down forward one usage of for Glaciating. King has some of the best small Tekken tools. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely, like, especially, like, how the game is going. Like, there's that, like, it's a, a shiny wizard on there on the process here. Going to go in, get the while standing four there. Going to finish it off. We're on set point for Glaciating all of a sudden. Two to two. Try to get the electric and work out. Another duck right there by Glaciating and a Phantom Pain with punishes are happening out here and another giant swing risky. All right, this like it looks fun. Might as well go on the ride here. Does tech it in the end there, getting closer to four. Like kind of going in, keeping up with the mid here, keeping up in that two range here, just trying to like debate on anything. Go try to go in for Sensei Sense. No can do, but this time Glaciating finishes off with another shiny wizard to make the victory happen. Right. Let's go, y'all. Let's get it popping. All right, with the Lucas mod, like King Ray Jr. has a different outfit every time I've seen them play. This is insane. Oh, the inner strength happens, and that one-inch punch puts you through a wall. And King Ray Jr. says, oh, "I'm pretty sure that that is not going to hit the wall, so I'm going to do a tech trap instead." Yeah, go ahead, activate the Nani Augusto over there. Funny, right back at you. I got a heat, like heat too. Like go with it and just ducks it. Gets the launch afterwards and just yeah, the, the down back full of uh, one four there. Get the victory. Up four three. Ooh, magic four trade actually got a lot of damage there. All right, goes in for the line. Real high, just uh. One more time, just gotta keep it. And again, ready for the duck this time. Going to get all the way to the wall. And yeah, like on one of those exploding walls there, we're gonna go right back into it. Dad still acts as a tornado, and that's a lot of damage. Kingry Jr. is not even in heat. Who doesn't even need it, he says. Here I go, though, <laughs> into the power crush. I don't need it, but I'm gonna use it anyway. You can't take it with you, might as well use it here. It goes in the one plus two. Gonna get the damage afterwards here. All the way to the wall one more time here. Just goes ahead, act one more gusto for you. Goes in for the uh, the down one plus two in there afterwards. Try to like rush up one plus two, no can do. The Divine Exorcist just gets a lot of recoverable health back with that. But unfortunately, that was the high string and King Ray Jr. smelt it and dealt out lots of punishment for it. Uh, God goes all the way in here. Yeah, act, this time activates the heat, goes into four, four reverse, and yeah, goes ahead, uses that extra gusto at the end there with the, the four forward one plus two, finish off the plate there. King Ray dominating that entire match. Shout out to chat for helping me figure out what this custom is. Oh, yeah. The Ness from Earthbound. Yeah, it's Lucas from uh, from Lucas. Mother Three on there. That's uh, uh, you're close though. You're close. I mean, like in the same end bracket on that. So. Oh, I get it. That's why Lucas was saying, "Who's saying my name?" Oh yeah. <laughs> That's what yeah. It is. I love that. <sighs> All right, Rebel Hanger, we have here big old large stage with a couple of environmentals. We'll see. Who gets to blow it up first? 
All right. Well, what we saw beforehand on there, like King Ray Jr. just had an answer for a lot of the things that Divine Exus was doing. Was just ready to duck and use that the, that wall standing three just to go in for maximum damage after this. And like already kind of keeping the distance, keeping it simple with that one two. Not going in for too, too much afterwards. Divine Exus going ahead, using heat, activates the heat dash all the way. When you use those knees, kind of build it up all the way into the wall here. Finishes off and does get the wall combo afterwards. Very nice. Combo Exhibitionist here, Divine Exhibitionist more like. Nice step two doing lots of work into the Nani Gusto. Nani, where did my life go more like? Yeah, no, like it. just uh, gotta go in and yeah, we're going with the, the uh, forward three. Gotta go in. in there, pushing closer to the wall. There it is. Activating the heat there. Follow up. Ray Jr. let it rip right there, but didn't get the best of the combo. Divine Exodus just has a chance to bring it back here. I'm trying to just goes right in for the smash, and sometimes that that's a pretty good option with uh, with Oscar too. Being able like you cover a lot of distance there, and you got like just a lot of unusual properties that uh that deal with like like things like you're not really expecting, especially like like a lot of the heat smashes in there. The Baki. Great one. Divine actually tried to whip, punish the down forward two. And that's what got them to Maki just being a little late. Power crush, wall splat. The exerciser tried to exercise Divine Exorcist, but they're both in heat now and with neutral map advantage. But Divine Exorcist whips the Shining Nova and his lights out. Six rounds straight. King Ray Jr. took that. Every time I see the um, like the kind of like the the fist the like pound like the pound ground from uh, from Oscar's characters can like can go the distance there, but Victor has just a lot of good tools to get like to break one or multiple walls in the right circumstances. Wow, five time immediate timing buttons right there, but Avery not perturbed whatsoever. Same frame height. I know you're not going to press after that. You thought that I thought you were going to press the Excalibur after that? Why would you do that in round one? You're dead. Thank you very much. Yeah, I look away for a brief second, and already the round is going in the favor of, of R.I.B. here. Going going to get, like, important. Abo trying to fight back here. Catches on the low, but no, you're going to get locked for that. Oh, almost gets the wall combo right there, but was too far away, and unfortunately is getting comboed their self for their trouble. But Ibo finally finishing off that string, which is safe in heat. All right, catches on it. No counter hit on there, but just a little bit of a touch is all you need here. Does break the throw. Does put uh, Victor Cole to the wall. And what a hit! Gets a wonderful float in there. Going to break the wall and give, uh, give uh, Ava a chance here. Going to get but, uh, the, the little little toe hit in there. Abo keep it alive. Oh, definitely putting that work here. Avery starts with the heat first already. A couple of back dashes will do ya. And a beautiful sidewalk from Ibo. Marvelous stuff. All right, catching on the lows here. Gonna follow one more. Get the low back and forth here. Tries to go for the grab. No, can't do. We're gonna get back in here, but does get in with the, with the uppercut. They're gonna get follow all the way to the wall here. No touch on the wall combo. I both thought that Avery was going to keep pressing after dropping the wall combo right there. So let loose the wall standing one, but was not meant to be died for their troubles. All right. Cancels out of it. Like, doesn't go into the three afterwards. You're kind of keeping the back. Like, kind of playing that little bit. Ball back. The trade in there. I both already back in there just trying to get in with the wild running too. Does get the launch. All the way to the wall. Goes. Right there. That was... Nice. Catches on it. Goes, goes in. Oh, this time tries to go in for one more low, but already disappeared into the sky in there. Ibo getting a second round in there, trying to get to the match point. Oh, nice challenge right there by Ibo. Still running those lows. You have to use them. You have to open up your opponent somehow, and it is definitely opening him up. Beautiful while standing one. And he's going to get the Excalibur. Put the sword in the stone here, and he's gonna become king of that game. Damn, I, I like that, that, like just put, like just a brutal way to end that in that round, getting Ibo's favor there. Oof, I love, I love that description, Fox. Love that. Appreciate you, brother. We are in it out here. Ibo 
really putting on the pressure really trying to make avery deal with these options and especially making avery want to duck low and maybe it's going to end up like the set with mac maybe the next set all of those lows are going to get blocked but this is winner's side Ivo was able to uh, react and adapt let's see what avery does a little bit of that intensive pressure the aggression coming into play on avery Avery side here, going to get the it's like get the follow up counter keep with the mid, a little bit of a punish for Ivo. Tries to get him for the step, no can do. Jin's already back dashing in there, but does get the wall standing on there. No punish afterwards though. Does get the wall. Ooh. Yes, the turnaround throw right there, but Avery is still in the back to the wall situation. You didn't want that. That was worst case scenario. You took like 30% damage right there. Catches on, gets on the low. The little, like, if the chip damage doesn't kill you, this low will. You're already going to get one. Oh, one jab into the immediate one plus two counter hitting, launching Avery already down 50% over 10 seconds. All right, catch it. Already ready for the load. No punish, though, on this. You're stuck on the wall here. Like, Avery, Avery, has got the, uh, like, I've finished. The duck's on the grab there. Ooh. Duck. Avery goes for the key first. And Ibo getting himself out of there and pushing himself at the demon paw. Avery getting, landing, and running. Flash kick. Press up with a throw, gets the evasive attack into the jab string. Avery kept that pressure on, and he was not letting up. Yeah, Ibo's been breaking all these throws and trying to keep like keep it going, but like Avery's been able to like get, like get that back on there, kind of keeping it. And I like these back dashes, but you're getting closer and closer to the wall there, and now that's where Ibo wants you. I step, but didn't block in time. You have one frame to be able to do something after that cutscene happened. Oh, you got no frames to do anything after this, so counter hit, down back four, and a lot of that heat on Avery's side is getting spent. He didn't even have the ability to do anything after that. Two interactions later, it was all over. Ivo on set point. All right, does catch on like on the on the heel kick there. Going to get the follow up, and they're all the way to the wall here. Good chance for Avery, like Avery to get back into this spot. They get the process already. Uses the heat, activates heat to get away from the power crush. Whoa. Like Demon Paw Oki. Avery trying to bring it back here. And the continuation point. But two off patches with the wall stage two. Picks it up with the American reset and gets plenty of wall carry for it. Goes in a nice side step from Ibo. Goes ahead and I, I, like uses the EMP to go back and like carry that back. Heat smash in there. Has access to it at any time there. This time gets the grab in there. Waits a little bit of time. And uh, tries to go in for like activate heat. Was already in the air. Gets a little bit of damage. All that chip is in eight, like on every every your side here. He does have the opportunity. Both of them have a lot of recoverable health right now. Avery hits the duck into the string. But the back dash from Ibo, he's not whiff punishing. Avery's putting on all of this pressure, and he's not getting whiff punished. Okay, gets low, but no punish afterwards. Does catch him ducking, goes, like, gets the hit in there, and Avery is going to get one on the board to even things out there. It goes to show you guys, don't back dash for no reason. You're back dashing, you would have your attention on the opponent's character model. Twice we saw some pretty big whiffs that Avery had thrown in the last seconds of that last round, but Iba wasn't ready with the trigger on, his finger on the trigger rather, and thus could not close it out. We're on to a third game. Yeah, and just to answer chat on this, like we are using the Evo Japan rule set on this, so it's all random all the time for the stage here. So we're just trying to give them a little bit of extra practice in there as we prepare for Evo Japan. I do really think it's a very interesting rule that Evo Japan will be using. Just because like, you know, stages are so different in this game. It's not like many other games where, you know, it's just a different background. But in this game, gosh, you know, you're a king player and you want to have that map advantage back and you get a floor break stage, you're like, nice. You, you're, you're randoming into it. It's different than what we've seen, but I'm very interested to see how it turns out.
Yeah, exactly. Into the Stratosphere we go here. Probably one of my favorite tracks in Tekken 8 here as we go build into it. Going in, activates Heat here. Get the follow-up. Catches on there. No counter on that, but does get the extra, like, a little bit of damage there. Follow-up. Nice duck, but no punish. Yeah, this time, though. Go. Second time's the charm right there. Ibo says, I'm going to get my punish into some shiny, into some heat. We're opening up the oven. I'm finna cook on you. All right, I'm going to put it the tongue to it. I got those high altitude baking directions, but this rage art is going to make it into the effect here. He went for the heat engager at just the wrong time. <laughs> yeah, going already back, right back at it. You into Avery's trying to make a statement here. Get the sidestep into the watch here. Nice carry. Get some corpse crusher. Another one. Yes, sir. Gets the heat first and spends the heat dash already just to get some of that extra hit damage in plus five. But now we're back to that range zero situation. Right, get the down two. Does a break on there. Ivo's been breaking those all day. Going in. Get the follow up here. Oh, the third hit does make its mark here. Get the push away. Goes in for the mid there, Avery. But does another launch there. Could finish the job here. Just goes ahead and activate heat just to make sure of that. Follows it up with the sword. Flashing down. One to one. For the Excalibur for max damage. Ender right there does a dunk. Avery trying to use some of these jabs. Right here to bring it back. All right. Unfortunately, the down two already on the other side here. Ibo was able to get a little bit of punish here. Capturing, stop the power cut. Come back four once again, trying to save a turn. Yeah, goes ahead, uses that like get the extra push back there. Cancel out, just holds back, holds the block there from Avery. A little bit of extra chip damage coming from that in the process. Out towards you, the Phoenix Claw. Oh, the the clock. Jab. he doesn't want that. Oh, the slash kick got over the low, that was crazy. Yeah, I'm like, man, it's a blocking time. A power crush on there. 10 seconds left on the clock here. Does that have access? And goes in for the 1 plus 2 throw. Bring it down the house. Oh, yeah. Time for the floor to explode here. One wrong move, and you're eating a lot of damage on a throw or in the middle of a combo. Avery wants this situation to be his. Kind of goes in, like get the smash on the ground. All those hitting, but it's going to be the launch from Ibo. Going to change the the course, the direction of this battle potentially here. Trying to keep a, trying to keep alive while uh, Avery is on match point here. Get the floor smash on here. Dang, he burns that resource. Avery still in the life lead here. He tries to go for the up one plus two again, but it. Did not teleport him fast enough after the plus frame that running black had on Jin Kazama. This is to see who makes it into winner's side top eight. Okay, here we go. And I've seen like every time, like I feel like I've seen Shadow more on the Safina in tournaments online, especially lately. Yeah, it is really interesting. He's proving to us that Shadow, that excuse me, Safina's backdash is not gutted as people say. He's still got mad good movement. All right. Kind of going, getting down there, kind of keeping like with the, the mid in there, trying to test it out there. Third one's a charm. We get all the way. We, we engage that dude there. Gets the follow up here. Down two to get that extra damage. Dash in environment. We got another wall to deal with here. Going to break that throw. Oh, no whole bunch punish on that huge whip right there. Gato 20 Z put Pastel Kami into the rage situation, but this counter hit grab on the armor stops Pastel Tommy from going into the grave. Gets around up. Very nice execution there. All right, yeah, just very, like very slick on there. I, there was a couple moves where the down two, where it's like really surprised that like Shadow was able to get away, but Pastel Tommy getting that first round there in the process. Already nearly half the health. Like you're going to build a little bit of that back up with just aggression there with the uh, from the ch just just throwing out the moves like at, with get more of that gray health back. So get all the way back into the wall here. Both of their youth gone now, almost at the exact same time. And again, Shadow in the corner. Right, catches on a nice block on the low. Was expecting it from Pastel Tommy. 
Going in, get the uh, get the the grab. No real like change in neutral, but does get the counter hit down too in the process, and going to get a little bit of a bump off the wall, but is able to keep the combo in there, and we're up too. Great duck and tsunami kick punish once again. Shadow 20 d tried to dash in and press the button. Pastel Tommy said, thank you, that's exactly what I wanted. Yeah, Pastel Tommy like has been having answers for nearly everything that Shadow has been doing with uh, Safina here. Yeah, down two, one more time. This time I'm going to get, get a little punish. This I'm going to get right back at you. Scarecrow, Scarecrow's trance from Shadow. I'm going to get the pickup. Ooh. Decent combo had some Oki. Pastel Tommy was too far away to get any sort of punish off of that. And Shadow 20Z says it's time to heat first, baby. Time to turn it up and uses the heat dash to get that chip damage, which left Pastel Tommy in just the right situation to get hit by that homie move and wall splat it. All right, already back dashing away from uh, from Jin's pun uh, punches here. Get the forward, kind of get a little push, a little bit of pushback. Even the neutral did get the like one round on the board there. Going to get the follow up all the way into the wall here. Ooh, good break. Shadow just keeps being put in the corners right here. That's how Tommy's doing so good with keeping the map advantage, but has an opportunity to have himself with a back to the wall now. Okay. Yeah, goes in like. Like bring, bring brings you out there, plays those uh what, what Tech Seven would call those little new tactics there a little bit. So goes in, catches on, tries to go for the grab. Already back dashing Shadow Twenty Z. Again, the patience from Shadow Twenty Z right now, doing so much work, but unfortunately you can't break them all, especially when they're counter hit. Pastel Tommy does a great job using those grabs to take the first game off of Pat, off of Shadow Twenty Z. Yeah, there was just a lot of preparedness for that. Like, especially those first two uh, two rounds where, uh, like, uh, where Shadow was trying to go, it, like, goes in the stance, goes in for the lower there. Pastel Tommy blocked each one of those. It wasn't until, I believe, that third round there where it was, like, able to get it, and that was only as a punish there in the process. Uh, one of the, like, it just felt like, really, Pastel Tommy has done their homework. Absolutely. If you are going to be... In these high level brackets you're gonna see shadow 20 z mm. playing the zafina you're gonna see it grand kitaro playing the zafina as well but shadow 20 z says no 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 i guess we're not going with the knowledge check backdash character we're going with the fundamentals fun razor out here shadow 20 z going with the audio all right, catch it on. Get, get a little bit of like the kick there. Alfano does get the pick up though. We're going all the way to the wall. Does it finish off the string? Just like kind of lets it sit there. Follow up. Just kind of keeping it. A little bit of delay on there. Getting in with these lows. Kind of keeping it in there. You're just stuck in the wall here. A little bit too far away. Does like the whiffs on the heat smash there. Another one for Pastel Tommy. That was beautiful. Yo, Cobra Dane 42, thank you so much for the sub prime. Thank you so much. I hope you're really enjoying this set. Yikes, I know Shadow 20 d didn't enjoy getting this fine kick right there. The whip on the heat smash, we're already in the corner. Yes, get, get a little nice little boot to the head. You're down two. And again, Pastel Tommy now on set point. Let's go. I see Urban people in the chat. Four on New York City out here. All of them trying to see you get bodied like get a Shadow 20Z. Fight back, my man. That goes in, down two. One more, discipline time blocks it on the follow-up. The one more for the road. Catches it on the mid here. Kind of keeping up the pace, like backdashing, trying to get away from uh, from Pastel Tommy. Catch it, one more time. These are, these are all hitting. Yes. Oh, Shadow 20Z needs to take it back now, but Pastel Tommy, gosh, the, the change up and the timings right there was so great. Pastel Tommy taking it two over Shadow 20Z. Yeah, I just like uh, adding on that, I love Toronto, love to go back there again. Like uh, get all of my levels, gonna be a good time. Anyway, but yeah, you're right, Add a Fury versus Tone here. Going in like, and I love this this uh, Lisa custom that I'm seeing here with the, like just love, love the color scheme. Oh, I love that attack right there, the snake fish. But the low parry right afterwards puts Tone in the 
passenger seat, never mind. He says, no, get over here. This is my wheel. I am the one that decides where we go. All right, catches on. A machine gun bl blows on there afterwards here. Let me follow with Ed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Devastating little bit of hit. Like, you're, you're, if I'm not seeing why, Tone, Tone's been showing me a couple things already in this first round here. Look at the chicken walks that he's doing here. The taunt dashes. Those are cheeky. And just like oh. that, a aerial catch with the force of the back one has his out of fury and a huge amount of damage because they got a wall combo. Yeah, and there's that little bit of extra damage that you get with that. Like, was not heat, so like a little bit of heat's gone on that. Gets in with a knee here. Maybe all you need here because you're going to break that throw, uh, the floor. I believe you still have access to Tornado, but doesn't even need it. Just goes in for the low afterwards here on the reset. Tone putting it on right now. Goes for the heavy sidekick. Adam Geary trying to mix up their timing a little bit. But Tone is interrupting and keeping it in their situation. All right, catches some final hit on there. Does get a little bit on the side swept. Goes in for the low. Activates the blades. We haven't seen much of that so far, but now we're seeing that some of the blade changes that Elisa had. Like, like it's been. You got to be very careful, especially like trying to stand up at the wrong time. There, already back at it. Going in for the high after. Ooh, two four right there. The ten frame heat engager. Tone immediately spending the heat smash to put out of fury with their back to the wall. Whoa! Try to beat out crazy. anything. Oh, he was twirling that stick right there. Tone, both of the players in rage right now. Adam Fury spending the key dash. 11 seconds remaining. All right, does like goes in head for a high into the high again. One of the, like uh, like a best. Uh, I've seen a lot of Lisa players doing that, and more often than not, it's effective. And show sure enough, gets around on the board. Ooh, ooh, that could have been a counter hit for either one, but Adam Fury. Stops Tone from using that hatchet kick. It's a tornado. Lots and lots of damage here. All right, back into the desert we go. Goes ahead and gets the counter. Gets a guaranteed hit afterwards. And go. We're playing a little bit of kickball with this robot here. Right ahead, right, right. He first. We want to stay in heat. I want this pressure. I want this chip damage. Ooh, got the back turn, but they were aerial with a unique getup, so they couldn't die from it. All right, catches on that. There it is. Tone's getting the first one here. This is, um, like I said, this is not to get the top uh, top eight, but we're getting close. It's like a two two more matches after this to get in top eight like on this. And you have to, whoever wins this has to go against Peeling and Joe Crush, as you were saying. This is insane. Yeah, that is huge right here. What we're seeing right here is <laughs> going to be setting up. Gosh, just thinking in the loser side. Not yet a top eight qualifier. We're seeing this level, right? It's just mm -hmm. maddening how many amazing Tekken players that we have out here. By the way, shout outs to Tone from Team Indoor. He is enduring some coaching. If you guys like having a knowledgeable coach, he does some of that for you guys. Neither here nor there though. Tone is trying to descend into the subconscious of Ada Fury and stay in their head to get another game on the board and keep going for this loser's run. Yeah, get in with these pokes in here. Finally caught a whiff in there. Got, got the punish after activating heat afterwards. Gonna get a little bit of punish. He's using that snake eyes attack right there. Trying to make Ada Fury have their back to the wall, but it is Tone with their back to the wall here. Yeah, like try to try to play a little bit of Al Snow. It's like, no, I don't want to deal with that at all. Gotta go like goes like a little bit of drop kick. Kinda keeping up and uh, like Tone has just been playing very patient here, just kinda waiting it out here. Like in the process. Did put away the blades here. Tries to go for the throw. 20 seconds on the clock. Or the snake fist right there. Punished is that string and tone. Revving up that taunt jet upper. Come on, let's let's see a real one. You know, you know we want it. You're on screen. Give it to it. What in the whiff? Yeah, they're like both both players whiffing as a process of it. Like one of those insane interactions in this game. Goes in, catches on that. Goes in, plays plays a little bit of the hatchet kick. Ooh, one more. One more. Up. Double hatchet kicks into the ducking of that string. I think not right here is he gonna go for the wall combo yes he is huge wall damage all right yeah goes in for the low in here and again tone continues to dominate as we go into set point 
Big homie move right there. Tone goes for the wall standing three and get up. Adam Fury needs to do a lot, and that will definitely be a great start. All right, goes in. Yeah, get the forward smash in there. Going to get the follow up. Heat engage in there. Misses on the other side. Oh, I went just a little too far away. Actually got out of at the nick of time there, but does have access to the wall there. Tone's going to go ahead and get that forward smash back into the desert. We go. Another one. Yes, sir. And he's keeping up this pressure here. Wants to close it out. But Adam Fury uses the heat smash and immediately uses the heartbeat disabler to finish out that round. That move really called the heartbeat disabler. That is yeah, that's incredibly is. metal. The, yeah. <laughs> um, going in further. Yeah, catch it on. Get a little bit of a touch in there. Get the follow-up. No punish afterwards after just a little slight, little slight love tap. Uh, the immediate interactions after all of these. We are not delaying our timing at all right now. Oh, nice attempt at the whip punish, but no, not quite ready for it. Yeah, LK Ham Jams with a subscription on their tier one. Subscribing for four months. Thank you so very much. And Speaking at that which, point. Tone will thank you very much for getting hit by that heat engager, which, while he was in heat, gave him a heat dash into full combo. I'm, I'm a gambling man. Lord, I was born <laughs> a gambling man out here. Let's see if my bet would have been right. Nice. Start off right there, Glaciating already with his eyes on the screen, breaking that grab, but he is in a disadvantageous position trying to get moving against that Jin Heat Smash and then got wall splat from so far away. But look at this. We're going to turn the tides right back. Oh, yeah. That, that, that's all you need. You just need one giant swing into the wall. And also, you know what? You know, Avery just needs a down too. That's all you need. Gets the first round. Avery's been doing really well, 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 using that big push right there. Counter hit, heat engager into the 4-4 four, four neutral two counter hit clothesline. All right, yeah, breaks the grab, keeps it like in the, in the neutral. Kind of going in and just goes into heat smash. Bam! One and one. Round three. Fight. All right, kind of like keeping the back dash, kind of keeping it in there, going here for the low afterwards. Get another hit, down two, down two. Oh, he said, I'm going to do it. You're you're going to duck low on me, my friend. More of these yeah. lows. Yeah. He tries to like hop kick now. Now you know he's under glaciating skin. He's hop kicking randomly. That's exactly what you want. Make your opponent do punishable things. Avery gets a perfect and is putting on a absolute tutorial for us. All right. Yeah, it goes in. Get the, get the knee on there afterwards here. Like, we do have access to the uh, the floor explosion in the process here, but it feels like like both the, both these characters can, like, easily access this at the point. And again, break the grab. No, no can do here. Right, with the 2-1, Avery finally gets his down two blocks here. The running Tomahawk. Power Crush versus Power Crush. Glaciating with their back to the wall, but is moving really well. Yeah, both these players are on point, breaking as many of these grabs. They're just dancing out here at this point. Goes in, gets a low. One more touch is all you need here. Goes in, like, get the, get the nice little sweep here. Get the follow-up. There's that floor oh, explosion. No. That's all you're going to need. I could be dead. Forward facing as well in there. That's going to finish it. Look how little health run it back. Oh, sorry. Avery has. When you have such low health, the Rage Art does even more damage, and even though the scaling was pretty far down, Avery was able to clutch out that round. Glaciating, doing so well on defense, but he got hit by a lot of those lows, huh? Yeah, no, it was, um, there was a, like a lot of good expectation for like, um, like break, being able to break the throws and kind of keeping the pressure, but was not checking those legs, checking those shins, making sure the shin guards were in place to protect your, 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 those very important instruments that you need to be ample, like, am, like am, ambulance out here. So yeah, Avery getting the first one here. We're going back. We have fallen from the, from the sky. That asteroid has headed to earth here. The fallen destiny has begun and we're going back at it. We got this good music on here. Yes, sir. I'm feeling epic right now. Great break on the throw. And then we're just getting started with the down twos again. All right, catches on it. Just goes in, run up, run up, grab. Get the throw, throw on there. 
engage that heat. A little too far away for the electric, but already, yeah, gonna go in for the giant swing. No can do there. For Kenny Spear, we're right, raiding with a party A. Oh. Thank you so much. Oh, natural right there. Avery using the jab into heat smash. Definitely getting a lot of pressure here. Using the chip damage, Glaciating is in rage. Perfect time for a giant swing, says get off of me. The low closes it out for Avery right there. Wow. This is such a clinic right here. Glaciating using the downpour one to stop any of that fiendish paw pressure. Avery gets the counter hit. Giant swing on him. 70 damage down the drain. All right. Yeah, going all the way. We're already being pushed back to the wall. Goes ahead and activate the heat uh, uh, engage for good measure here. But we're going to get more of that damage here. You like that wall? Have another. Round three. Fight. Sheesh. Giant swing is so good at the wall. If it doesn't work, it puts the opponent super far away from you as well. It's like, why not do it? Speaking yeah. of which, why not get all the way over here on this combo? Oh, the damage on Avery right now. Yeah, get the throw. I thought, like, I was kind of surprised when I, like, I was, I was going to get away from the wall, but you're so close to another wall, it doesn't matter. We're going to get that damage here. Going to get the plus frames afterwards. Just gets down with the shin kick afterwards. Glaciating on match point here. Down with the shin kick. That was absolutely a disturbed situation in that one. Oh, Glaciating trying to use the push. All right, that's the counter hits, but Avery gets the demon pawn instead. All right, goes in. Ar yeah, goes in down too. A little too far away for the electric there. It's gonna be a follow up all the way into the wall there. Yeah, uses the can can to keep that in play there. And what a what a damage there on the shi shiny wizard gives Avery the corner uh, the, the wall back there. Goes in with the down too, even it out here. We're on set point for Avery. Oh, nice tight step into forward four. It's the grab attempt. Glaciating, beautifully moving to the side and trying to get this momentum back in his favor. But the low parry and scrambles all galore right now. Glaciating gets their combo and now Running Black is just out of rage. All right, catch a good duck on there, but the Avery getting the launch back on here. Hoping he evening out this life bar a little bit here. Got access to this corner. Like Glaciating, keeping down. The down two making it even. Both players are in rage, but this is all. Gets a launch and just ends it with the rage. Or just to make a statement there. Avery going to be moving on into winner's finals. Make him watch the movie. Make him see the x-ray. My fist going straight through your torso. Especially in this matchup, or is it going to, are we going to see another all the way through Jin King? I think Avery is going to play Jin until the breaks blow off. I think Pastel Tommy, a long time Mishima player, he can play a lot of Mishima. He might just be feeling Jin right now. Ooh, nice forward three right there. I haven't seen a lot of King players doing the forward three, you know, uh, into the guaranteed DDT. Uh, it's great to see Jake Man bringing it back to Tekken 7 Classics. Speaking of Classics, he bursting heat engager. We rock those all day long. Yeah, Pastel Tommy with, uh, Tommy with a nice d duck on there. Going to care, like take a bath advantage back, trying to stop J Dr. Jim in the tracks. Power crush! Doesn't get anything out afterwards. Trying to like bait out, bait out a move on there. Again with these ducks. Pastel Tommy just ready. It doesn't want to deal with these throws at all. Doesn't even want to try to think about breaking them. Kind of keeping away with the with excellent movement. But it is going to be that stop into the, uh, like into the, like the, like the, 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 the extra damage in there. Dr. Jigman going to get that round. With those big ducks right there by Doc. Savage Sword gets some extra damage off of the end of it from the counter hit, and yet another Pastel Tommy grab finds its mark, and Jake Man is in rage. All right, gets in with the low here. Or goes and breaks the th breaks the throw. We're going back in here, trying to set it up to like be closer to the exploding parts of the wall. Go in there, working on a perfect. Never mind. Oh, more of those wave dashes. That's what I'm talking about. Bring back Jake Man wave dashes. I love it. Heat smash stops, and then Pastel Tommy spends the heat dash, back dashes just a little bit to get the stature kick when Dr. Jake Man wasn't looking. All right, try to close in this time. Yeah, got like beats out, like beats out on, on that. Gets a, gets the a throw on there afterwards. Pastel Tommy going ahead, gets in with the wall throw. I love the look of this throw. I've always had in like in all the different seconds. 
Yeah, the oblique on this man for having to jump up and throw you like that. Good job for Jake, man, being able to get off axis. Uses the tomahawk throw and finally puts himself into position to get this heat engager. Alright, tries to go in, but I like a little too far away. Does get the bad. We're, we're swinging blows right now. Gets in on the other side. Does actually get it to like a wall and does explode it. I, I did not think that was going to hit the wall with that angle, but sure enough. Sure enough, it did. Up. Side wall. We used to save lives and now it destroys them. <laughs> Explodes your health bar. Big counter hit full forward one into the launch. All right, Use here me we go. the guaranteed follow up. Do it to him, Jake, man. You know you want to do it to him. Ah, Dragon Sleeper goes for the damage instead of the run, uh, rolling death cradle. We Passle love to see it, but also you know what we wanted. Yeah, Pastel told me why to stay down on the ground there. Going to get a little bit of punch. Shiny Wizard finish it off. Jake, man, with a perfect to finish off that first match. Wow. You know, it really felt like Pastel Tommy was in the driver's seat quite a bit. Jake, man, though, he mixed it up a lot. The mental stack potential for King is really high. He was running the forward three. He was doing the, count, the, the pushes, but he was also wave dashing as well, doing different throws that have different chains and choosing to go for the less broken versions or by that i mean the less grab break broken versions mm -hmm. like the dragon sleeper right there he's digging deep into his bag of tricks which we know that dr jake man loves to do yeah yeah we definitely have seen like a lot of like a wide variety of different throws being also happening and also being able to like a lot of counter hit damage that like caught pastel tommy hitting buttons in key areas like, pastel worked out like like pastel's been able to get like a smaller bits of damage in there getting like in them with like stature kicks getting with the lows getting the little throws in there on the bench. but we're going right back into it here already dealing with like with it and with the down two from pastel tommy Good, great duck, and finally, that's the first electric that we've seen punished tonight into the giant swing. He caught a lot after that. All right, again, we're just little, like doing the arm crush, ready for it. He engaged, goes in. We're going to grab the throw. This is probably going to yeah, be guaranteed all that. One more hit, going to get the third part of it, mm -hmm. and the fourth part to guarantee that no, we're going to break. We're going to break. Never mind. The low is going to finish it off in in, in its place. Generic down four doing so well. King has really long legs. He has one of the strongest generic down fours because of that. Ooh, nice demon paw heat engager to get things started here in this second round. All right, cat catches on the down four, gets a little bit of punish. You can't really, like, you can do a lot more with that, but like, all, any punish is a good punish in the in the, the neck of things. Goes in, get the giant swing. We're going all the way to the wall. Get that massive amount of damage. And that jab in the down forward one, tried and true. Uses the heat smash, but Take Man is just right in knowing when to duck after he goads past El Tommy to press on him. All right, kind of catching on, but you keep on the plus in here. Go to the try to go for the launch. No can do. The punish is on Jake Man's side here. Jake, man, doing a great job punishing that big kick energy. Gets another big kick right there of his own, and he's growling on you. All right, kind of keeping up the mid here. One more time. Like, this has been working well for uh, for Avery in the past. It goes in, like, add one more. We're getting all the way to the wall. Get you where you want. Like, good block from Paso Tommy. Going to go in for the throw. Going to finish off the plate there. Going to get one on the board. Catching down on there, gets in there. Mm. DDT. All right, going in, catches on. We're gonna float a little bit, go all the way. Not oh, misses all that, unfortunately, on there, but goes ahead, engages on the heat. All right, hits him with a low in here, right back at you. I'm trying to get, like, get him to push away there, but just like kind of keep it low. Find the whip punish on there. Dr. Jigman already, but uh, already ducking at that point here. Going to get dash in forward in there. Going to catch on the heel kick into the phone. This could be a death, like, into the second match here. Two and two. Jake, uh, Prasso Tommy trying to keep alive here. He needed this. He needed that momentum to come back here. 
Pastel Tommy trying to survive in this bracket, trying to keep it on winner's side. Can he take it out in this final round? All right, goes in. Immediate use, like, you know, like goes into the move that activates, uh, engages heat on there afterwards here. Catches on the down two. Keeping it forward, already going. to kind of keep up the pace here. Wants Demon to keep up the pressure. Really hitting their mark. Oh my gosh, you can do crouch grab as a punish for down two now. And that is giving the pedigree into Heat Engager. Heat smash immediately. Nice immediate button. After that, gets a follow up. Stomach smash into the forward three, guaranteed. One more is all you need, and just catches him with low. Got to caught, like, all, like jumping up on the backside there, going to get the guarantee. And Jake, man, moving on. Even to be able to try to like combat against it. But here we go, peeling with the Rock Lee. Uh, custom going on. Shadow 20 Z on the Safina. Here we go. Ooh. Shadow 20 Z trying to use some moves that will catch side step right, but Peeling is doing a lot of side step left right now. A lot of side step left. All right, try to go into hypnotist. No can do here. Gets a, like a punish on the on the low there, and this is going to be Opportunity City for Shadow 20 Z to kind of go all the way into the wall here. Big counter hit on the one for launcher. Oh, and yes, Healing got hit by that string. Shadow 20Z in heat was throwing out some of that Azazel energy. Going in, kind of keeping him up. Can you keep him plus? Getting a little pokes on the lows here. Try to go for something else, but Shadow 20Z is uh, Safina going in. A nice sidestep from Bling, though. Going to catch yes, on the low. Sir. And he's trying to get the waning moon throw. But just like that, Shadow moves himself out of the corner and back right in it with the sidewalk from Peeling. So well done. Yeah, perfect ballerina move into the smash on there afterwards. Does he even need that wall? We're gonna keep that up. We can we can replace it later. Ooh, doesn't pull the trigger on the second hit of the wall, standing one. A couple orbitals we're throwing here. Really just trying to check the timing of Shadow 20Z. And here we are, trying to put that pressure on for one another. This dance is so good between these players. Yeah, already kind of backing up. I like that Shadow 20Z is just kind of sitting back on the whiff. I was like, oh, I was like, oh, okay, that's happening. Let me just take a look at that. Like, save that for later use in there. Uh, but in the meantime, Peeling going to get like these extra hits here. Going to follow up, like doing the, the switch over just to get it closer to that wall with the heat engage. Yeah, the use of the four forward four there in the middle of the combo, super good. Glad you pointed that out, Risky. Finished off with the heat engager and gets another one right here. We're walking on him. That many steps would have made a launcher, but Shadow 20 Z blocked it and was able to get it cut. You know, second time of the charm. We've said it a couple mm -hmm. times, huh? Yeah, it goes in. We're gonna just, like smash this wall. <laughs> the uh like like the use of hypnotist, like just being very interesting in this. Oh yeah, go going in, we're stuck in the wall here. Little side and going in for the low afterwards. And that down forward one. It is a really low hitting attack. It, it, it there was a minute at the end there. That down forward one just sets up Xiaoyu's entire offense. Didn't have to use a big move, a long, a you know, difficult, high risk attack, low risk, and keep it simple. Peeling doing really good here in this matchup versus the Zafina, I feel like Shadow was trying to do a lot of that range three, that kind of like keep out style of Zafina, mm -hmm. but it just wasn't working. Peeling was just rushing them down. Yeah, that's that's one of those things, especially uh, we were talking about earlier, uh, Fox, with the, like going into heat, they just like, it's nonstop with, uh, as soon as you get into it. Healing was doing a lot of really good job, like going into continuing the combos with uh, Heat and using that little bit of bed there just to keep up the pressure in there. And right now we're trying to stop, but we're trying to look like going for a stake edge, but this time Shadow 20 Z upping the game. You are exactly right, Fox. Being able to like, go in there, like get the first round in Shadow's favor. Yeah, definitely need that momentum. Speaking of which, the momentum changer, Heat first. Definitely want to use one of those. And Shadow 20 Z gets caught trying to press out of the tarantula stance feeling gets that big back up on two on all right kind of keep up the mid already look kind of setting up there a good block from shadow who's it Ooh, great job with the evasion of the front flip 
Heat Burst is able to catch AOP. Not everybody's Heat Burst, but Zafina's, the waning moon throw. That's gonna launch you and take the rest of your life. All right, back into, like, back into form here. Peeling looking to try to close this out in this match here. Kind of going in. Ooh, nice counter hit from Shadow. Going to continue with the uh, Azazel pressure there. A little bit. Gets him with the low. You thought you were off axis, but you were not. You were mm. on my axis. I have yeah. my eyes on you. <laughs> All right. Yeah, getting getting down in there. Follow up here. Mm, yeah, you're going to get that kick after afterwards here. Keeping on that. Peeling liking to go for the... Um, for the, uh, the the summer like uh, the kind of somersault move after that, I've noticed that in like other sets as well here. Shadow Twenty Z trying to keep this alive though. Great opportunity for the plus frame, and it's not really easy to jab them out of it. You have to actually have some good movement. That must be why Peeling is liking it. Speaking of good movement, Shadow Twenty Z is moving the health bar of Peeling quite heavily, but Peeling doesn't like that. He wants the heat first. He wants the pressure. All right. Like already said, you know, like Shadow Twenty Six. Like now, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna kick you out of the way. I don't want you to hypnotist at all. Thank you. Get the follow up here. Ooh, yes, ducking under the jumping throw attempt right there. Next plot of extra wall care for Shadow Twenty Z, and now Peeling is on the wall of Coliseum. All right in the wall. All right, yeah. Try to, I try to use the uh, the, the back back up, up, up back to try to get out of the cave. But Shadow Twenty Z ready for that in the end get the block get the punish out on afterwards shadow make that one to one yeah no wall jump for you mm -mm. shadow queen z is sticking to you like glue he is ready now that was very different from the first game right risky yeah yeah that was uh very like in the first game like was able to um like there was there was a generally like a little bit of noticing like on some certain whiffs that were happening that Shadow Twenty D noticed, but was ultimately getting like thrown out by like uh, by uh, peeling pressure in there. Shadow Twenty Z went full in on that battle. second one. It's like, oh, I'm gonna try to match your speed a little bit here, like in the game, and especially in a stage like Coliseum, made that feel like a very small, a much smaller stage in the process somehow. Um, like just being able to get all the way to the wall and like kind of get that damage. All right. As many of our top eight finishers, final rounds have have been, we're on the celebration on the stand right here. Very fitting for us to be here. All right, catching on the low here. In back turn, a little bit of a punish from Shadow Twenty Z here. Already near that rage health, but do, like uh, Peeling does get the launch here. He said, "You ain't Arslan Ash. I'm not getting <laughs> hit by this." No, get gonna, out of here. Yeah, get you on there. Get four two screen. That is all natural combo in heat. And then you wall splatted. And then with the spike, they got extra damage. That was all guaranteed off of that first hit. Nasty stuff. All right. Yeah, finish it off. Get the power crush on there. Already half that life bar gone in an instant. Here, we're not even 10 seconds into the match, Fox. Ooh. Look at that heat right there on both sides. So close, great job. Floats him up on the wall, and we're gonna see something for Oki. What is it gonna be? That sets it up nearly dead here. Doesn't even have to blink or flinch on that here. Shadow 20Z getting that one there. Ooh. Bubble slides right there, cheeky stuff. Peeling uses the heat burst to get out of trouble, but Shadow 20Z's got the life lead. Catches on it. We're going to get the wall here. Playing it on. Yep. Finishes off. Has a little bit of meter with her. Finishes off. Like, just uses the extra low there just to get the extra damage here. Shadow 20Z sitting on a lot of chip damage as well. Has not a chance to get that brought up if, if it has a chance. Like, but, like, going to have to fight their way out of this wall. Pressure. They do have heat. They are enraged. 20% extra. They could get a lot of it back if they got a heat engager. This will do finally, though. Great pressure. Here we are. I know you didn't trust yourself to press that button. Back turn four, also known as Mistrust, was blocked and subsequently launched by Shadow 20Z. 
Yeah, Peeling answers back as round start launch of their own here in the process. Does get the heat smash in there. Like, I'm always impressed when, like, I see the heat smashes just at the very end. Like, nope, nope, it's still going on. It's still, it's still happening here. Great heat smash. Puts them in the back turn. Tries to get out of here, but no full flow combo. Shadow 20Z not in rage yet, but he's got lots of recoverable health. Yeah, a little bit of a punish on that, just like just noticing a little far away, doesn't try to go too deep. I like that from Shadow 20Z. Ooh, look at this movement right here. You tell me that Zafina's movement is nerfed. Look at this. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's nerfed or nothing for Zafina's down forward two though. Finds its mark and 12 seconds left. Healing has got a long way to go. Yeah, it is that one more touch territory, but we got eight seconds left on the clock here. A lot can change in a very short amount of time, especially with Peatling. Doesn't have access to the heat, but like a little bit of touch here. Just get the block in there. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. And at one second left, Shadow 20Z just gets the launch in there after on the low, and that's going to be Shadow moving on in the bracket. Him. But King Ray Jr. versus Machine Gun Wizzy. Who is this Machine Gun Wizzy? They are running the dragon off. We'll see what kind of sauce they've got. All right, once again, like not sure who a character is. They're probably playing dragon off. Sure enough, Machine Gun Wizzy is going in. Already like kind of getting step on. Kind of used the push up and does get the Sabaki on there afterwards. Going to get the full combo after, like all the way in there. With he smashes the guarantee into the dash in there. Finish it off. Nice, perfect from King Ray Jr. All right, kind of going in the back dash. I like seeing these uh, like uh, from the back dashes from Wizzy here, just trying to get away and like kind of keeping the pressure. Dragon off being one of those characters where you can kind of uh, like you feel like you feel like it's like I feel like uh, I have to apologize to some like from some of the aggression that this character can get. Like it'd be like I need to send a Hallmark card to him, and I like, already just as fast as King Ray Jr. won that first one. Uh, Wizzy got the like I got one right back at you. Okay. Going in, getting all the way to the wall. Get the heat, like heat engage here. Oh, nice oh. spike, the extra. And then get the hatchet kick into the unbreakable grab. You can break the follow up though. Wasn't correct. Oh my gosh, that hatchet kick into the down two is putting in work. King Ray Jr. has definitely got some pressure on against him. Okay, yeah, going in with that forward forward there. Gets the second hit on there. That the good opportunity there to activate uh, Gusto for King Ray Jr. Uh, that's a big part of uh, how, especially how King Ray Jr. plays his character. It's like, always wants to go activate the Gusto, even if, like, if not, like, we'll shoot the damage for that, just to get the extra uh, plus frames of damage from Gusto. This is a great finisher to that combo right there. Machine Gun Wiz, he tries oh, to oh, walk. Did it They tell you you're supposed to sidewalk there, right? He sidewalked. Tried. Well, how come he didn't get it whiff on him? How come it tracked him? Oh, well, I step block. Maybe should have been the way. But yep. he didn't die for it. He gets the unbreakable throw and once again mixes up the option in the follow up. Machine Gun Wizzy takes that first game over King Ray Jr., our two time TNS champion. Mm -hmm. The only two time TNS champion for Tekken 8 that we've had so far. I got to say, pretty convincing for Wizzy. Yeah, no, absolutely. Like, even like. Uh... Like kind of like going in for uh, that first that first round. It's like oh like like King Ray being aggressive, being able to get in there on that. And uh, Wizzy was just like, you know what? I can match that. I can uh, let's tango a little bit. Let's do this. Making sure. Round one. Remember you get, go right back at it. Into Yakushima. Go again. A little bit of that. I I forget that that back four move uh, the tracks a little bit like that as well. I would think so. Look at King Ray Jr. He's like, stop stepping on me. I'm going to run this homing move. Stop stepping. Oh my gosh, stop pressing immediately. Maybe if you were to step, you wouldn't have got hit by me doing that side step down forward too. Alrighty, kind of feeling the back on her. Goes ahead and uses the Gusto. See, waits for Wizzy to add the activate action. Goes in head and engage the heat. A lot of white health on the side of Wizzy. He's in the wall standing one. Ray Jr. using the small buttons to get him off of him, though. Okay. I'm going in about trading back and forth, going in like for the blows here, going to high, high, going low. Goes ahead. There, that rage are coming in. This time does get the get the proper like side like sidestep into the punish. He had the right spacing and was able to move 
just out of the way. Great job right there. My goodness, the backswing blow brings the momentum back in Lizzie's favor once again. And still putting on the pressure here into the power crush from Tweet. Yeah, I did not expect that that interaction to, to, to be like that. And tries to go for it again. And this time, Machine Wizzy, 32, on the verge of King, King, kicking King Ray Jr. out from a potential third TNS victory. My God, Wizzy said, you know what's good against Power Crushers? This hatchet kick right here. Mm. But King Ray Jr. is ready to bring it back here. It's got the gusto. And gets another amazing launcher. Takes the teeth right out of Wizzy's mouth with that tooth fairy. Yeah, doesn't get the continuation continuation of the combo there, but does get a nice hit there. Going to like begin a new combo of their own. Goes ahead and goes into dash. Going to probably finish this out with a near perfect. King Ray Jr. down but not out here on Yakushima. Does get caught sidestepping, getting hit by so many of these lows. And you know, she has can cans. Maybe that should be putting into play here. You're right, Fox. So like, yeah, we haven't seen a single can can come out this this set from from what I've seen so far. You're going on, catching on, down two. Oh, these dash ups right there. King Ray Jr. is playing with fire out here. Neither of them in heat, so maybe that's the change. Machine Gun Wizzy is in rage. You've got to finish him, put him out of his misery, but he doesn't get the follow up. Could have been a miss input there, like maybe wanted to go for the uh, the forward one plus two there, uh, a three plus four there rather, but that is it. Wizzy going to be moving on in the bracket, defeating King Ray Jr. from trying to get that triple crown. The players outside of Claudio, like especially at high level Tekken at the moment, and it seems to be working out in the favor, even with some of those, uh, those nerves that Safina got from going from Tekken 7 to Tekken 8. But here we are, we're going right into it. Ooh, 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 that trade was not what Glaciating was looking for right there. But he's got himself in a corner right now. That's a life lead. And uses the giant swing to get himself out and get to the space. Yeah, but that's one of my favorite things about, like, uh, like especially with throws, being able to, like, get to the side switch. King, like, Julia and Tekken 7, like, all those throws that they're, like, we're trying to get that side advantage. And here he uses it again, actually. Use the China Wizard. Nose on the tech with, like, still getting the road. This time, try to go in for the low. Shadow 20 C expected. Got the low parry. It just goes right into the rage. All right, just going to make sure you definitely kill and get that round at this point. Glaciating ran up to him. He said, I'm going to do the King Wave Dash. Some would say the hardest of wave dashes, but that timing mix wasn't right for Shadow. It just immediately took him down. All right, going back into neutral. Does get a nice counter hit. Going to get the launch from it afterwards here. Follow up. Actually got a long range, but did not get the low on there afterwards here. Going to get the follow up and the wall splat on here. Shadow 20Z looking pretty good in this battle so far against uh, Glaciati. Yeah. Glaciate is doing really good with the neutral when he has the control, but else it's looking like Shadow 20 game. game. Right, catches on it. Like, you know, like he was able to duck on there because the follow up. Yeah, breaks Break the shiny the wizard one more time. This time, Another though. Another no. throw, but this time it was not the shining wizard, it was the giant swing instead, the one break and not the one plus two break. Kind of goes on through there. Catches on there. No down forward one for, for Shadow. Gonna get follow up. Get the follow up. And that gets a big counter hit on there. Ooh, capital punishment. Trying to put him to sleep. But Glaciating uses the heaper. Says, we're gonna finish this now. I need a round on my board. And Shadow time is in full effect. But keeps it clutch. Good job right there by Glaciating. Yeah, fills in the dot there. Very nice. Goes in, gets, gets a little bit of a push away. Going again, this time catches the low parry again on that. Already back in there. Not enough to bust the wall there, but like gonna make the, make it happen on the next time. That is a hard wall break. Ooh, great duck. No launch there though on the down three. Glaciating has got to deal with this Zafina pressure. Doing it pretty well too, getting that spacing. And as we see, counter hit 4 4 1. Okay. Yep, uh, yeah, caught, uh, caught on the slow. Just go ahead and gauge the heat on there. Get the follow up. What's the setup afterwards? Again with the low parry. Oh, almost gets the wall broken, but it was too far away. Both of the players in that last throws 
and that string right there, catching Glaciating so far away. What a great spacing knowledge by Shadow20Z right there, taking that game. Yeah, there was a lot of, like, like kind of going back and forth in between on that, but it seems like, uh, like, where... There was a couple times where I thought I was like, oh, Glaciating has the clear lead, especially in that final round there on there. But like Zafina, like uh, with Shadow, Shadow with Zafina, was just able to get like play a little bit of small tech and get those hits and where they count and just got them like with the follow up. Like, what do you think was kind of like the, the lead up that like led to Shadow's victory there? You know, I really felt like it was the spacing. Glaciating just couldn't get the spacing that he wanted. Shadow 20D was always either outside of the range or inside the range. We'll see what Glaciating does to try to take control of that facing momentum. All right, catching on the low. A little bit of a trade in the favor of Shadow 20Z. Gonna go for it. Getting the shock the time. Oh, another big giant swing. Swing your partner. No see. No. Yes, There's on Glaciating. You know what we want. Oh, yeah, there, there's the promenade right hard. there. Yeah, and nothing just get with through about it. And a lot of situations, that move is guaranteed after King's Cane throws. All right, goes in, catches on the low one more time. These times, like Conan Mace is like, oh, you want to low parry these? You want to low parry these? No, I don't think so this time. Oh, he didn't want it. Didn't want it bad enough. Nice high step. Battle 20 Z. Gets the homing move knockdown and gets the map advantage for himself. Glaciating throws the tomahawk and since it got broken, he actually put himself into disadvantageous territory. Not a good, good position to be in here on for and the pressure from Shadow 20Z does get a little bit of hit on the while standing four, but no can do afterwards. Slowly, like between the throw breaks and being able to like kind of like sidestep over there. I like that movement from Glaciating actually. Being able to like like slowly worm their way out of that situation. Goes ahead, act, uh, engages heat on there. Going to build up, going to even out the life bars in between. 10 seconds left on here. One more chance, it's going to be all it needs, but the final hit with the mid from Shadow 20Z, and here we are, one to one. Even with their back to the wall, Shadow 20 is showing the power of a single back that Glaciating, though, gets this combo. Doesn't want the ground throws. It's using so much of these stomach smashes. Tough frame ones, you might even say. Oh my gosh, the down forward mon whipped on the low. What was that? Yeah, going like kind of get in, got nice like nice duck on the like like getting a punish on there. Get the follow up, and there we are back of the wall. Get that splat in here. One more time is all you need. Just go ahead and like finish it on the throw. There's a KO for you, Glaciating, trying to get keep alive here. Get one on tying it out. Uh, enough for the push and not nah, uh I know you want to dash up and do that again on me. I think not. Lace getting with his back to the wall. Yeah, tried to go in for like the, the gra like grab no can do. Shadow Twenty Z was ready for that. Still has access to the wall here. Finally gets it in like gets in with the one two there, like following on it. Back into neutral. Really great. Max damage ender there by Glaciating. Runs up, tries to go for the throw. There's nothing doing right there for Shadow 20Z. Yeah, I like right. the small poke. Mm -hmm. Going in, catching up. There's another one. Goes immediately for the grab there. Then this time Glaciating responding with a low parry of their own here. Gonna get all the way into the wall here. Trying to keep that wall like one more time here. Nine seconds left on clock. Been a long game so far in this and shadow 20 z had a chance but like if like a little bit of extra time was able to probably get a little bit of health just to keep out of that range on there but glaciating got that extra hit in there and making it one to one now interestingly enough we haven't seen shadow use the heat smash from zafina yet the reason might be it's a high and the first hit is pretty short range but it is a 12 frame heat smash so it's good for like punishment in a lot of situations. I loved what I saw in the last 10 seconds of that round too, where Glaciating saw the life lead. He was like, I know I have so much life lead and there's 10 seconds left. I'm gonna use the heat smash to burn a couple of seconds. And then Shadow's gonna try and steal a little bit. I'm gonna delay my timing just a tiny amount and stop him from getting any space whatsoever. And now that's the tail of the tape is why we're tied up. 
Yeah, no great analysis on that, Foxhound. Like, like, as we go in here, we're at the Rebel Hangar, kind of continuing down. Lows for days. They're, like, making their mark here. Kind of catching on that. Kind of goes in there. Gets a nice little punish for, uh, for Glaciating. And here we go. Chain grab City. Gets it down. Number three. Oh, now he's in rage with he. Yeah, very... Uh, well, was in rage was. is the question there. No, was. No. Had a brief moment of respite in rage, but then like got hit with a shiny wizard in there in the end. Ooh, I love this skimming happening right now. He is using that 4 forward one. He is going to run this Jaguar hook on you. The Shadow 20 Z, because this facing is mine out here. I control this distance. Look at all the whiffs that are happening on Glaciating side. Getting in. Getting in with the lows here. He, uh, like, mostly, like, Shadow just, like, kind of, like, by playing the backdash game, getting in with these, like, these down forward ones, getting a little, like, a little bit of extra hits in there as the process here. Like, Glaciating finally getting, like, some, like, some back in here, but it is just that small Tekken in play in Shadow 20's east side working its magic now. Shadow is doing so well with the defense. That whole round, Glaciating was trying to open Shadow up, and he's like, no, no, no. You're going to have to keep using those blows if you want to stop me. Mm -hmm. All right. You got the claw coming out the play. A little bit. And catches in the air there. Glaciating finally getting a chance to, to like play and press those buttons a little bit. Shadow 20Z right back at it, though. Oh, deep first. Is he going to keep the heat? No, he wants to keep that into the guaranteed extra. One more interaction will do it. That low from Shadow 20Z takes it, and Shadow 20Z is on set point. All right, kind of keep it, keep it back. Already expecting like a, like a, like a, like that one to two range in there, like getting like getting a little bit of punch in there, getting closer to the wall. Does get it on there, but goes in for the high claw. That vicious claw right there. Shadow 20Z just putting on all of the pressure. Goes into the Tarantula stance, into the low, and that's all she wrote. This move is an adverb, and it's going to kill you. Yeah. And you haven't heard about it. The etymology of this move is from the 1500s. But don't worry about that. Worry about the part where it kills you. Yeah. Worry about the 1500 damage that it's about to do to you. Exactly. And Avery using that down two, man, already. He sets the tone for the match it's so early with that down two. Right, kind of going in. Yeah, get the launch in there. Get the follow up. Yeah, going ahead and using that. Going to use the heat smash to get all the way to the wall. Uh, uh, heat uh, activation, rather. I love that. He got the low wall slump with the running exploder there. He stops, waits, and then grabs up Avery. Gonna get. Oh my the god! Your life bar. Really? Like, I was about to comment on the amount of white, like white health I was seeing there. What I did not expect is the giant swing to kill. <laughs> I expected a lot of damage, but not that. No, oh, sir. Good throw. Put Jake Man in the corner, and just when he needed it, Avery was able to get a wall flat, and then the immediate left with kick to get the combo. Right. Yeah, with the heel kick. Just kind of keeping it, and yeah, goes in for the launch afterwards here. Showing off that like premise. Yeah, I'm going to go like uh, the side switch over there, like uh, get the wall to the favor of Avery. Nice one right there. There is a high that can come after that. But Avery did a down forward four instead. Sneaky stuff. One round of peace. Right, okay, yeah. Blocks on the low. Get the uh, get a little bit of a float on there afterwards here. Looks like you're out. The tornado, unfortunately. But he uses the keeper to put on some extra pressure. And Avery trying to be a little bit sneaky. He uses the demon paw. And now they're both in heat. Yeah, it's like, I don't care about this aura. I don't care, like, care about this. I'm just going to use this chain grab. And I'm going to see how far I can get along here. One more. Nope, I'm going to break it. I got grabbed too. Thank you very much. Yeah, goes in. You got to get the side switch on here. So it's like, hit, like hidden with the low. They're docking in the corner. They want to see who has the ability. Oh, King, Gra King Main's not breaking grabs. You hate to see it. <laughs> Avery takes that round. 
All right, catching on going in electric, kind of keeping them with those mid. Nice sidestep from uh, Jake. Going to go in like a little right. bit of power crush. Freaking right there. Oh my gosh, you know what? L down two is weak to the Jaguar step. But Avery, once again, having another grab that it's Jake man. Yeah, goes in. Activates that heat. Go there. I don't care about that. I care about you meeting this wall here. Say hello. Oh my goodness. Say hello to my little friend. He smashed the keyboard damage <laughs> land. Dr. Jake <laughs> Man and Avery are now tied up. Oh, nice float from Jake here. Gonna get the follow up. Get a little push. Yeah, stops the running on there. And nice, yeah, like holding back on there. And again with the giant swing. I feel like J uh, Jake has been really on point with these this entire match. Yeah, three giant swings have already made their mark. A big clock right here into the corner. What's gonna happen? Got up wrong. Dr. Jake, man, took that with that beautiful Oki on the end right there. Let's talk about that Oki, by the way. Mm -hmm. King Kings love to end their combos in the running shining wizard power bomb the reason is because if you wake up backwards you're pretty much going to be getting hit by that low that you saw mm -hmm. and pretty much the only way to not get hit by it is to either stay on the ground or to spring kick if it's free you mm. spring kick that's that's a risk right yeah that's uh that's it's like actually in tekken 8 that's even more so of a risk than it was in the past yeah exactly and there are other options, but that's the option that you see King Mains using the most because it's going to stop 90% of wake-ups. Yeah, and once you start uh, spring kicking, it's like, oh, okay, you're doing that now. Hold on, let me hold back a little bit. Let me, like, get the big punish on that afterwards. So you're you're kind of playing into that game at that point. Ooh, nice. Got the boot parts on it, but Avery was able to break it. Goes in with this Tesla coil customization from Avery. What is this on there? He was trying to get out of there, but <laughs> sheesh. He tried to heat burst, but of course the heat smash was able to be all armor. All right, goes ahead immediate, like gets all on there. And here we go. Welcome to the chain grabs. How are you doing? Let me check that out. Let me, like, I want to make sure all your bones are right. Okay, you're fine. You're fine. We got you. He got a little bit extra off of that. That was good. Trying to use that push. Doubling up. Oh my goodness. And Avery is doubling up on the damage here with this counter hit combo. All right, yeah. Gets a heat smash right afterwards here. Like going to get face down, like on the knockdown. Gets up. Kind of getting down with the, the lows here. A little bit punished. Avery trying to like make it set by getting the push back on there. Go ahead and use it that heat just in case, but it is the low from Jake going to get make, to make it two up. This is winners finals, by the way, though. So this is first to three all the way, like like at this point in the in here. So we are still fighting off, but Jake is in a pretty good spot. That is a punishable attack right there, even if it is electric. Great job using Jaguar seven to the capital punishment, and that power crush keeps getting bopped by Avery. Kind of keeping down this time on it. <clears throat> yeah, gets a throw afterwards. Get right back at you. Going to get the tech in here. We're back at it. Hello, chain grabs. We get the first part. We got the second part. We have a third. Oh, yes, and, sir. We're going yeah. for a ride. But Avery knows the final throws. He is somebody that played against Lil Majin a lot. So you definitely know that he knows those chain throw extensions. Jake, man, gets the float, but he misses the follow-up. Side walking, Avery is able to get around it, and now he's the one with the life lead right here. Yeah, four seconds on there. Gets the break on there. Blocks on it. Nice to throw. I like that Ooh. use from Jake, though. Like, being able to go in, like, just does the elbow drop, like, high in the air. Just kill a little bit of time at that point. Just, like, at that point, did like, it did hit in the end. Didn't matter at that point. But just make your insurance and help ensure that victory. Bro. Okay, you remember how I told you that he plays King like I play Yoshi? Mm -hmm. He did the timer scam, the flying elbow drop. Randy Savage himself would be proud <laughs> for that one. And it would have hit, even if there was another second in the round, it would have hit. 
and he would have got the round anyway. That was so sick. Yeah, just like Dan, like like I, I, you know what? My planet needs me. I got to go up here. You can handle whatever you do down here. I got to make sure I get to the next. I get the grand finals. It's two to zero. Jake is in the lead. Go ahead, get the second hit on that. Avery using the Tekken 4 custom here. I love it. Yeah, stopping any like any of the Russian afterwards in there. This time breaking the chain grab before it can begin. They're both using the jabs and the down forward ones very liberally out here. Oh, the first hit was blocked, but Jakeman said, I'm gonna do it anyway. Avery gets hit by the knockdown, and Avery's in rage. Yeah, goes ahead and he, like activates the heat on there on the following, but he like gets the sit down on there. Doesn't even need to like like do anything else. Just gets the damage, gets the round. Two more to go. All right. Good job for Avery breaking the grab. Again, they're both using the down forward one so well. Those electrics are getting blocked. Big man not dealing with the pressure any other way than getting those big old launches out here. All right, yeah, goes ahead. Gets a little bit of extra distance in there and like already over half that life bar gone here. Get the, get the breaks the throw on there. A little too far away for that power crush on there, but also uh, like getting a little bit of extra damage there. One more. Yeah, Jake Man says, I'll take that hit. Works for me. You are in some trouble. You're going to the bridge. Take it to the bridge. Oh Jake yeah, Man. they're. Oh. London Bridge is falling down. Run It Black is in some trouble here. He gets the backwards Jaguar step grab on him again. And this is not looking good for Avery. Yep, already breaking the throws right back, right back on there. Does get in the low, does get the floor smash on there afterwards. And gonna be in a good position to get a full combo afterwards as well. Got good situation for Oki. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to get the wall explosion. He did take quite a bit of life off of him. The spacing wasn't right. Jake man getting this gigantic wall explosion punisher is gonna get a lot of reward from that. All right, keeping you close. Once a, like once a wall, so close to it. Goes ahead and get the break. Good, like a nice use from Avery on that, just to get the wall advantage on there. Going ahead and use that like uh, after he engaged. Nine seconds left on the clock here. It's going to be turns out it's going to be you with the wall explosion on here. Going to be yep. in the lead for Doctor Jake, man. Another one, <laughs> yes. Another elbow drop from the skies. Doctor Jake, man, is Briefly, back until we get back into loser finals after. Now, this right here is the test of a new Tekken star in this bracket. If you can make it past Shadow 20Z with the Zafina, you got something. We'll see. Shadow 20Z definitely not going to make it easy for you, though, especially with the first round starting with a combo. Yeah, no siree on that. Going to go ahead and get the sidestep, get the E-Gage. Already going to break down that wall here. Yeah, going to get the full, like, continue on with the tornado. We're already at the other side here. Um, Wizzy making it look pretty good so far at that point. Absolutely. Yeah, he's got Shadow in the corner and putting on the pressure. But Shadow using the heat burst to force some space right there. 18 seconds remaining. That instant running too. <laughs> Yeah, goes in with the slide and afterwards here. Gonna catch on that. You can, like, uh, nine seconds. Ooh. We hear the little beeps. He's not punishing. Five seconds left. I know you didn't do an instant running through there. That was a shimmy for the ages, my dude. Even Shadow 20 Z smelled that. And Machine Gun Wizzy said, ah, 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 I think not. Yeah, exactly. Giving, uh, like, Wizzy the chance just to clean out that round already. And again, we're kind of keeping them. I like again. We're, we're seeing we were seeing some smooth uh, smooth movement from Wizzy before, but I like what I'm seeing in this match. Like overall, does get hit by that like like on the follow up here from uh, from Shadow. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you're gonna get hit by two tech turn catch combos in a row. I can't think that you can survive this. But Machine Gun Wizzy knows how to take it back, oh, but only if he can break the grab. Darn. Yeah. Even enough here, going back into round three. 
already immediate like like goes into full swing to get the heat engage. Ooh, nice big counter hit down three right there. It's the back turn launch. And another unbreakable throw right there. The follow-up is, um, is breakable. You know, with the end, he gets the sidewalk into the damage, and the more running twos, this guy has got those running twos, like they're always blue sparks. It is yeah, nasty. Yeah. Definitely going through all the running two, like the going out of style, and sure enough, like making it work, making it like, like all those appearances here, right here, in, like in the battle. Guys are on the low. Yep, Shadow getting over that low attempt right there. Machine Gun Wizzy trying to go for the back four two string and Shadow 20Z having, having none of it. Still, Shadow 20Z has the life lead, but the tower crush is exactly what he needed at just that moment. Yeah, just uh, like got uh, got into damage where it counts there, and like realizing like oh the pressure is being turned up. But all of a sudden, I need to like get like get out of that situation here. Meanwhile, Wizzy going in with the down two. One more, one more, and then oh. goes in while we're on the running two. <laughs> that was. I I love it. I love when Dragonovs run the quadruple hatchet kick. It gives me life. Yeah, it's that, that meme where it's like, I'm going to do it again. I'll do it again. And sure enough, that was <laughs> that was a lot in one go. And just like finishing off with the ru the running the, the running two at the end there. Perfecto at that. I got to ask you, Fox, uh, do you think it's time for the Claudia? Do you think the switch is ha here? I would say, personally, it doesn't really feel like Wizzy is extremely knowledgeable in this FINA matchup. The problem is is that once it's Dragonov's games, it's Dragonov's game, you know? Mm -hmm. Once that hatchet kick hits, everybody gangsta until the hatchet kick runs. Everybody <laughs> gangsta until the deadly scorpion hits your toes and you're met negative seven now. Exactly. Already, yeah, great, great notice on that. So then catches on the low here. Back in here, using a long ride of Yakushima. No walls to really worry about unless you get, like, close enough to them. Oh, using these jabs, saying, stop it, go away. Oh, even went for the counter hit ring. Didn't get it, but he did get another counter hit launch. Just a moment later, is going to use the heat burst and definitely going to run that heat dash to get the finisher on this. All right, good showing in there, trying to like maintain, like maintain focus on their Shadow Twenty. Um, we're back in it with Mikishiba Wizzy going ahead with the heat engage. Gets the launch on here in a really good position and just just kind of like kind of like getting on like the push and just keeping up this close range range zero game here we're almost already at the wall oh my gosh had you kick into the low right there it's so difficult when your back is to the wall and you're at that much disadvantage i have not seen a single one of these running dudes not be a blue spark tonight it's nasty now going in Kind of catching up like Roman. just dancing dancing like dancing a little shadow who are you machine gun with me i must know <laughs> if, if, telling if us through chicago has been hiding this guy from me shame on you chicago <laughs> wizzy's been showing us all the way through through song and dance with this dragon off going in with the two one more this is first to two this is loser semifinals this is to determine who goes into first to, first to three territory next here. Shadow 20Z gets in the first blow. Ooh, caught him with the back turn catch right there. The back roll back turn catch. Shadow 20Z does not want to let Wizzy get any of this momentum. You know, Wizzy doing well with the sidewalks and evasion, but he's not being able to capitalize on it just yet. Yeah, okay, yeah, ducks on the low there. No punish though. Yeah, he's really close to that walk inning too. There it is, the homing move. Stop pushing your Wizzy from stepping. It's some guaranteed follow-up afterwards in Shadow 20Z. Really feeling like you can take it back here, I think. Keeping it out here, but does get hit with that, like, with the move that starts with low with, uh, for, from Dragonov there. Ooh. Try to go for the launch. No can do there. Was already ducking. It's off axis. He wasn't able to get the combo, but you weren't fully blocking right there the neutral block caught shadow 20 z just lacking and then one more interaction afterwards 
Machine Gun Wizzy takes down Shadow out here. Losers final. Winner plays Dr. Jake Man, and we're already spring a heating gauger starter right here for Avery. All right, Avery, gotta get in the start. Already stuck in the corner here. Have to deal with a down two from uh, from Wizzy. Ooh, we wave dashed him. Trying to put on that pressure. Machine Gun Wizzy using the jabs a lot, trying to stop Avery from doing any of these wave dashes and just running with the full crouch string already. And just like that, Wizzy's got his stuff in the corner. Yeah, oh, like does not get the follow-up on the on the on the counter hit there. But does get the down two afterwards to get the first round. Close one there. I really thought Avery was gonna bring that back. Ease the rolling sabot right there, the one two one. Gets the heat engager. Avery now with his heel on that wall. Going in, catching on. A little bit of wave hoop. Goes ahead. Cancels out the heat. Like try to like try to go in a little bit, but nothing for it. Avery says, I'm finna wave dash. You ain't gonna stop me. You're the one that's gonna pause. You're the one that's gonna get hit by this grab. My round. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Goes in. Go with uh, another one of the roundy twos. That's on it. We saw, we saw how like how like we go into the hatch kick over and over again here. Oh my God, we're shifting into some combo right there. If you guys are thank you so much for the get stuff to your project. Appreciate you, Machine Gun Wizzy, still in Kito and uses the heat smash immediately after Avery wanted to take their turn back. Nice side step from Wizzy here. Gets on stop and yeah, get that stagger out afterwards. Gonna go way lead into a full combo there. Go all the way to the wall here. Let's mess up this wall for Lee. Doesn't need it. He's got the money. Walk any one three. Made the wall slide happen on that whiff grab right there. Avery just could not. It's the right situation for Round one. Fight.
Got that on stream unfortunately we aren't there but we got this one happening here it is 2-0 machine gun wizzy avery going up by like, like trying to make this happen trying to keep in the game here going to get a couple of hits early and nice back turn launch on the other side i can't believe that side switch too nani yo machine gun wizzy is popping off right now had to get into down four two immediate back swing blow after getting a combo eaten by rb that was nasty. We think a Wizzy says, no, no, no. I got my reads, and I'm pretty sure I'm good on him. Avery, though, it's a demon pot to start out the round. Yeah, going in here, like, like, it, like in the heel kick in there. Kind of getting the push away, just trying to get away from the wall a little bit. Misses on the electric here. Again, Wizzy has been sidestepping constantly to the degree, like reading like these jabs out there and ready for them all the way through. And it's been working. It's still working to this point. Dang, the movement, the sidewalking, the goading, the baiting, making Gun Wizzy one round away from making it to grand finals on loser's side. Yeah, Avery's gonna try to get it on there, but get the push back on the shoulder tackle. Gonna get it. There's a tornado. Keep on the pressure. More running two, three of them, four of them, five of them. Uh, has to kick, and <laughs> I know you wanted to duck another one. What's he gonna do? Press? Here we go. Off to see the Wizzy, the machine gun Wizzy of Oz out here. Oh, that one wasn't Blue Spark. Neither was that one. All right, I get it. It's human. All right, catches on the flow there. Going to get a little bit of a tornado there. Going to get the follow up. Bop, bop, bop. Oh, he went for the delayed hop kick after getting hit by down three. Hello? I know you don't want to break the, oh, the cradle. cradle. I know you thought that the dragon sleeper or something like that was coming, but no. It's time to be a twist clip. Yeah. Exactly, exactly here. Already going in there. Try to go in like four. DDT. Ooh, good ducks right there. Uh-huh, another 4-3 into the DDT. Oh, she tried to do the jumping option right there, and Machine Gun Wizzy used the jab right there, just like just Sandy said you should. All right, already going in there. A little bit of a sidewall. It does, like, like Tekken 8, like, being able to, like, get combos easier off the wall, but somehow makes it harder sometimes on that. But, uh, yeah, getting the power crush, get the, the follow-up on that at there. There we go. We're already up two on the side of Dr. The Jake Man MD. Ooh, nice brawler kick finisher. Even that two jab to stop any of those running twos or hatchet kicks that Wizzy wants to throw out. Using that small Tekken will go a long way. Mm -hmm. Small Tekken leads to big damage in the end, after all. Going in, changes out. Oh, yeah, catches all the while right while standing there. Going to get the follow up and going to work on a perfect there. Finish it off and make a statement. Dr. The Jake Man wants to finish this before Wizzy can get too much momentum. Give him the first loss for Wizzy this top eight. That is such a crazy thing that you just said. His first loss in this top eight. I know you mm. mentioned it before the set started. He played against King Ray Jr., Pastel Tommy, Shadow 20Z, and Avery. Lost no games mm -mm. in the last nine games that he played. And the very first one in Grand Finals. Granted, he's hot right now, you know? He's hot off of those victories. And Dr. Jake Man said, nah, 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 son. Cool that out. The momentum is mine. Yeah. Yeah. I'm my, my king is like ice. You're the water in it. We need the cool glass here. Get sit down. We're going right back into it. We got ourselves a sanctum here. Let's see. Is Dr. Jake Man still gonna be the iceberg? that cracks the Titanic of Wizzy, or does Wizzy have a few more holes of defense in him? All right, 
Kind of catching on there. There's another those, those, those sparks in there. One more. Doing so well using the, the big buttons and the small buttons. But the one that he should have done was the left punch button there because that would have broken that throw. And Dr. Jake, man, up another round. All right, going, going in. Catches on it. This time, like, the down two gets low parried. Going to get the, the like, the slam forward after a power bomb. Yes, launch punishing the hatch kick. The last time he blocked it, he didn't launch punishing, but that time he got maximum reward and finally spends the RKO. We haven't seen that all night yet. Mm -mm. And Dr. Jake, man. Would you say that, that came out of that again? Say that came would you say that came out of nowhere for tap for chance? I, I was out of nowhere. Yes, the RKO, 100 percent Look at the push right here. And he gets the first hit of the wall break. Doesn't want to break the wall there. Good job with you by getting out of that situation. All right, goes in like you. Like I like also being able to like yeah. When you're forced to run, block the the running uh, the running two like that, you're getting closer and closer to the wall. Like where like you're gonna get that extra wall combo damage on the follow up. Mm, that throw is so devastating looking. Er, uh, ooh, it's not taking seven no more, Jake. Man, if you want that counter hit. To have the most reward, you got to commit. And unfortunately, Wizzy took that opportunity, and now you're on the floor. You tried to wake up. No, sir. Instant wall running two catches you. Yeah, Wizzy. Wizzy was like, has been moving around, but like Jake's been like ducking a lot of these like high, the high, uh, the high jabs and so like trying to get in there and like in the process here. But it is like Wizzy finally waking up a little bit, getting that launch in there. All the way we go. Oh, goes for the play ride there more of these running twos going for the grab and then stopping the momentum right there giant swing 70 damage dr jake man gonna put the pressure on you yeah trying to get out of the wall situation staying out there 30 seconds half of that uh, half of that the timer gone here more than half of the life bar gone for jake man trying to make two. it no. Ooh, counter hit grab into the crazy okie situation but the heat mess whip Catches on. A little bit of a push there. Shining Wizard breaks it. Woo! Oh, no. He did the wrong thing. Unfortunate. He should have done something that wasn't going to have the high immediately rip afterwards. The King of Wizzy had great reactions on that. Yeah. Was able to like react to it. Get the punish in there. Get the round here. We're at 2-2 situation here. Very important round here. Missing when, when Wizzy Ooh. wants to keep it in there. Jake wants to finish this as fast as possible. With these fun way off actions on that last combo. He did get the opportunity to get into some heat, but he's into some, some trouble right now. And he got huge amounts of damage put on him by Dr. Jake, man. Yes, the wave dash. And he tries to go for the stomp, but Missing on Wizzy is a perfect punish on there. Great patience. Dr. Jake, man, got hit with that whole string because of the counter hit. And just when we thought Wizzy was gonna take two down, he came right back in the end of that round. That was wild as a comeback. Yeah, like opened up the third eye on that Splinter Cell costume that Dragunov has there, like in the process. And like, I was originally gonna say, like Dr. Jake Minos has been kind of like watch, like watching around. I was like, oh, it's like, I, I've seen what the, how Wizzy's been playing. I've seen the warm up here. I got this. Wizzy just kind of like woke up and it's like realizing it's like, oh, I'm getting hit by a lot, a lot, a lot of these things. Let me kind of switch it up here. Let me get that, like the counter hits and like being able to just some really good, mo like, uh, ducking there just to kind of get away yeah, from like some too. of from the meat of the mid high. So very nice. Absolutely, yeah. Had some really good ducks into wall standing punishes, and I think I called it right. Jake man using the giant swing in a lot of these pressure situations is really doing very well for him. Round one. Back on the farm we go. We're going to play Blamas a little bit more. And immediately into the string with the heat engage. He tried to rip the Switchblade Ripper on him. But it was Jake Man who ripped the launcher after ducking the second hit and got all of that damage. Goes in. Ends up with the low there. Try to switch it up with the meat as the mid. There it is. Oh, he has just the right type of spacing to get that heat burst. 
Wizzy just out of rage. Doesn't matter though. 64 damage. Heat smash. You are stricken down to the ground. <laughs> Doctor the Jake Man MD took that very personally. Got like got it back. It's like I don't want a repeat of that if I can help it. Or again, we saw that happen in the last one. Once again, gets the punish. The Wizzy immediately ready for it, and already we're back at the wall. Half that life bar gone. Ooh. Ice, he thought he was able to whip punish the jab, but couldn't. Big Man gets a punish of his own. Immediate rage arc, but Wizzy held his finger off the trigger just long enough to stop Jake Man in his tracks. Immediate start with the down, like the down two. Kind of keep it on, on there. A little bit of a love tap early on there. Does get the stagger. Going to get a full combo afterwards here. Back to the wall. Familiar territory. Uh uh uh. Oh, from counter hit push into the heat engager. Jake Man needed all of that recoverable health right there. And he ducked the jab. Got a wall standing 2 2. Gets all of this combo and it's still in heat. Going in, repeats it a second time. This time, getting it set up on there, like on, on the rage here. Trying to keep you guessing. Wizzy still has access to uh, to heat on there. Trying to whittle down this up bar. One more is all you do. There it is. We're up two. He's just. It's so many immediate timings, but the sequences are so, so nuanced and unique. Again, Jake, man, doesn't get the launch punish on the hat to kick. That's twice in a row. Not happy about that, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, does like side rolls out of the way there, trying to avoid any, like anything the Wiz uh, Wizzy has. Gets hit on there. We're getting closer and closer to the treasure wall there. Doesn't even need it. We get a perfect, we're up two here. We're looking to make a reset potentially happen and more Tekken on the way. Gotta say, Machine Gun Wizzy is smothering, suffocating over Dr. Jake, man. Jake, man, even throwing Rage Art out near the middle of that last set. What do you do here, Risky? You know, I, I think, like, a lot of like Wizzy has like was just on point was ready for a lot of those like kind of like the mid highs that uh that uh Jake was trying to throw out there was like I kind of getting away with it and like on on that pressure like you gotta like especially like kind of mix that up a little bit if, like in the process there is a this is a like and it's so hard to do especially at this late level of the of the tournament here like move, moving on we've been at it for quite a few hours at this point like here so it's uh it, like it is a stamina Get contest at this point and wizzy battle. is on fire like has like the caffeine is flowing through their body percent no eyes no ears let's keep our eyes on the screen though our ears pumped because we're gonna hear some of this great action machine gun wizzy with those dash ups at the beginning was looking pretty cheap yes indeed Going to get the follow-up, one more, like one more punch for the road. Want to keep you at the wall, half the life bar gone. Going to get a little bit of that back just from the aggression alone here. Going to get a, like a little bit of damage. Follow my lead. Oh, and Ghetto Yaku. Hit confirms the wall standing too. Yes, Ghetto Yaku, thank you for the sub. Appreciate you. Oh my gosh, what a great punish. Yeah, 29 months here and you got the heat smash on there afterwards, what? Wall standing four is really, really good for space and right there, but he had, he had whipped it in that situation. Jake Man says we take those. Go ahead. Gets a little bit, like, gets a little bit of shin as a treat. But then, like, kind of um, pushes in forward with the running two. Trading blows, trading lows. Down four. Going for the grabs. Yes. Gets the interrupt. And back dash into the heat smash because Wizzy was trying to breath on the heat for situation but Jake man getting that correct spacing to stop Wizzy from whipping this time you got going to go ahead finish it out there familiar territory we're going into the uh, the heat engage afterwards gets a nice little drop kick at the wall here stands up kick taking a little bit of checks or chip damage there walking gets a punish on the wall the, the wall standing forward Jake, man, gets the blue spark giant swing. Wizzy needs the tech. He does. Oh, he, there we go. That's the Jake, man. I, I missed it. 
Yeah, double power crush right there. Even delayed it a little bit. Yeah, like you're going down, reminding you two to two. We're bringing it all the way here. It is up to Wizzy to try to reset this and or Jake to actually like to get through and finish off the plate there to get like get another TNS victory. Jake, uh, Jake won one of the previous TNSs, correct? I am almost positive that the answer to that is yes. Okay, yeah. yes. Yeah, we're getting confirmation on that. So this is like looking for another one in the books here, potentially on here, but has to go like go through Wizzy and one more. And we're back on the farm, back with the Alpalcas, back to play. Petting Zoo allowed here. Here, Jake, man, he used the backdash so well in the last game. I gotta hope that he can continue to do it. He will use that wall of standing one plus two, though, that launcher to get lots and lots of damage. 70 more coming at him right here, though, with the giant swing. Almost, never mind, in his wall. Yeah, just, just a little too far away for that, unfortunately. Didn't even need it, though. It just goes for the heat smash afterwards. Gets the damage in there. We're one up. Two more to go for Jake, man. Oh, here come the big full crouch strings now. And another giant swing. This one's definitely going to hit your back to the wall. Equalizer. Yep. And all these grabs. They're hitting all the time. Now we're, yeah. Another Go one. get away. Get the tech. Hmm. Run up. Keep burst. Doesn't get the counter hit, but Wizzy also didn't duck it that time. That's a little scary. Did break the throw, and Jake Man's in the corner. That goes in. Gotta help. Gotta love the plus frames on there. Kind of keeping up, like just like waiting out, just seeing what what buttons will be pressed on Jake's side here. Goes in, just goes in for the goes in for the low afterwards here. Jake on match tournament point. Yes, sir. All right, Wizzy going for the immediate wall standing two after the back two, trying to really make these reads count here. And he is in heat and putting on lots and lots of pressure. But Jake, man, gets a little bit of that recoverable life back. All right. Yeah, going into the giant swing here. Going to get the wall. Not quite, like, not actually the wall I was expecting there. But, you know, a wall of the wall. We get the extra damage in there. Wizzy responds in kind with a cannonball, basically, on the side. Gets on the side in there. Into the down two. Going to get the victory there. Going to get one round on board. Stay alive. He had the opportunity and he took it. Machine Gun Wizzy doing so good at these intimidating dashes, but another big wall standing one plus two. Look at all of the damage just from the wall standing one plus two into the floor break. Lord have mercy. And then the RKO. We're in heat now, Risky. Yep. Yeah, brings it out there. But okay, yeah, like uh, side rolls out of the way and gets the launch in here. Good opportunity here, play two. So gotta get the wall, get that extra damage here. But it's like, is Jake gonna let him? No! Not! We're gonna sweep one more time for the road! And we're gonna get that wall, get that damage, and Dr. the Jake Man MD. Put some respect on that name because we got a second TNS champion in the books.